Welcome everybody to Wildflowers. Given, give it a, give a to me is the title of today's stream. Why is it the title? <clears throat> Let's be honest. Give it to me needs to. <laughs> Welcome everybody. It's a pleasure and honor. As we're back here with some more Wildflowers. This is in this great, it's fantastic. It is absolutely. This game is something else. I tell you what. I'm having so much fun with the story. Having so much fun with the farming. Having so much fun learning more about the story, or sorry, the characters every single day. I always, it's gripping me, right? It's gripping me. It wants me, I, I want more is what it is. I want more and, and, and they're willing to give me more. So win-win uh, for all of us, right? Absolutely. How's it going, everyone? Thank you very much, Rescue Greyhounds, for the re-upping on the membership. I really do appreciate that. Very kind. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and water my uh, crops right now, and we're going to get that going on. We do have some hops ready to be collected, so possibly more beer keg action as well. Hope everyone is doing well. Um, I will hit, hit... I'll do it again. Let's go hop seeds again. Yeah, we'll do it again. Run it back. There we go. We have $1,800, and the goal for today is quite simple. Whoa. Did you see that? I think I just, like, watered all three of these plots at the same time. That was a little strange. I have an iron watering can. That's why. Duh. We've upgraded our watering can. <laughs> I knew that. I did not. Uh, okay, yeah. So watch this. Watering can being used. It does all three. Oh, I love it. Great job. Anyways, how's everyone doing? Uh, yes, anyways, before I get distracted, today's goal is, is it's very simple. We want to um, we want to start a new garden plot farm area, and that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be getting that in finally. It's going to be great. Yeah, absolutely. How's it going, everyone? Ainworth, how you doing, Ainworth? Serendipity, Michelle, how you doing, Michelle? Tina Rice, how's it going? Game Station, uh, Rescue Grey Greyhounds, of course. Margaret, uh, Queen, how you doing? Craiger, how's it going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crystal, how you doing, Crystal? What's going on, Crystal? Uh, Lexi, how you doing, Lexi? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love the title of the stream. Thank you. <laughs> Susan, how's it going, Susan? Oh, very good. <laughs> I need to stay ahead. Susan's like, I need to stay. No, I, 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 I get that. I totally get that. The gamer in us needs to stay ahead of the streamer because we got to know before they know so that we can see what reaction they give in when they get to that point, right? No, I totally get that. 100%. Susie T. Hi, Susie T. Neon Llamas. How you doing? Yeah, gaming. What's going on? Yeah. This might be a work and lurk stream for me. Hey, no problem there. Absolutely. Yeah, so... Uh, we got to definitely uh, go talk to, what's it, not Franklin. I always want to call him Franklin. I, I dink him on the mind, right? It's not Franklin. We don't talk to Franklin. We simply go talk to uh, Parker. There we go. He doesn't seem like a Parker. He doesn't look like a Parker. He doesn't feel like a Parker. But his name's Parker. From Trinidad. Hey, shout out to Trinidad. Got this game the day after it came out. Very good. Very good. I hope you're enjoying it. <clears throat> go talk to the Coven. You can start the next task. You mean this one? The honey mint cooler? Is that the one you're talking about? Which is which is which? <laughs> All right, Parker. How you doing? Um, I need to see how much it costs again and how much I need for the vegetable patch. That is 63. Okay, 5 iron, 1500. Okay, so I just need the uh, iron. Okay, let me just get the iron. I'll be right back. Let me be right back, Parker. Don't close down the shop. It's a Friday. I know you got plans this weekend, but your plans this weekend is really simply just actually being at my farm and building this son of a gun up that, that that's your plan for this weekend hello natalia how you doing hey miss purple how you doing miss purple so thomas is the one making the bonfire for the summer festival huh i hope he studied the correct fuel placement you mess that up and we'll get sad smolder instead of roaring flames <laughs> oh really okay very well um go ahead and uh give me one piece please that's all i need for right now is one that's not what I needed. That's the one I needed. There we go. One piece indeed. And then I will be on my way. I'll be back with you, Natalia, later. Amira is right there. Oh, is Amira the one with the mint cooler? Is that who needs the mint cooler? I had no idea. Loving it, playing it right now as well as watching. Oh, very good. Very good, Crystal. Hello here, Mr. Goodman. How you doing? I want you to build me... A vegetable patch takes two days well yeah so your weekend's gonna be uh booked up with me my good man let me get my wheelbarrow and i'll be right over to set up your new patch should only take a day or so 
That's incredible. You're going to make a giant vegetable patch with just a wheelbarrow? I respect the grind. I respect the work. Absolutely. There you go. Mark and Natalia should be right next to each other. I know, right? They should be right next to each other. Okay. All right. All right. So Amira? Yeah, I guess we go to Amira. So let's go to Amira. Here we go. Going to Amira? Yeah. Hmm. That's not where Amira is at. Waiting for the window repair guy. So I. Oh yeah, yeah. The repair guy. The window. The. Oh wait. Oh wait. Did I? Did did she walk by? Is she closed on Friday. She's closed on Friday. Okay. Was she up here then? Did I run right past her up here? Oh look at her! I've never understood people who say nice weather, isn't it? All weather is nice. Give. I'm gonna be honest with you. All weather is not nice. Is it's not nice. You see what's happening in Florida right now? It's not all nice weather. I'm gonna have to disagree with her. I, I'm gonna have to disagree with her. That's the first thing that we've disagreed on. But it's nothing too controversial. I can get behind it. The fact that she thinks all weather is nice, you know, just. That's a big question mark. It is a big question mark. That, that <laughs> I have no idea. Other than it's just like, what? <laughs> Francis came to me complaining of headaches. Turns out he's been clenching his jaw when he sleeps. I suggested he go relax in the new onsen. He has to learn how to chill out or he's going to grind his teeth to death. Going to grind his teeth to death? Ay, ay, ay. Uh, did I not make you the, 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 the tea? Did I, did I not do that? Did I not do that? I think we were missing some. Wait, honey mint cooler. I think we were missing something actually. Not thinking about it. ingredient wise, we might have been uh, missing something. Let me go back and see real quick. Thank God for the speed boost, or I'd be like smacking myself upside, left side, right side, downside, diagonal side, horizontal side, vertical side, all the different sides you could possibly get into. This is this is probably where I'd be slapping myself. Hello. Uh, now I think this is a kitchen item. A kitchen item, yeah. This is a honey lemon tea. That's not the right one. It's downstairs. It's downstairs. I think I made it. I just need to recover it. Give me that. I think. Yes. Two days. Okay. Look, this is a very, 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 very big deal. Two days to make this. All right. So we don't have it, ladies and gentlemen. We will have it. Just not yet. I guess in the meantime... I'll do another miracle growth. I will also uh, do a see where my speed boost is at. I love the freeze time. Okay, so the freeze time is interesting, but I'm trying to really like think about what it would do for us. So I mean, like freeze time until you leave the current area. I guess the only time you would use freeze time is maybe for your crops. That would be the use, like, for your farm, most useful part of it. But I don't really see that being a huge, big, like, big giddy-up, a big, you know, useful thing. I don't know. I could be wrong about that. Who knows? Hey, Radness, how you doing? By the way, I didn't properly say hello to Art Vandalay. Hello, Art Vandalay. Let's go make some paper. <clears throat> Let's go here and make some... That's not paper. That's not paper. Oh, by the way, we need to get some silk, too, for Miss uh, Giva. Three. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Uh, with that being said, I guess we have some time to burn some resources to gather. So let's see if we can cut a few trees and all that while we wait on our days. Hey, Robert. First chance I got to see live, Robert says. And wanted to say thanks, Cans. Love your style. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you very much, Robert. Hope you're doing well. Finally up to date with all the Dinkum Rising Star 2, recent King Rito, and now Wildflyers. Loving it all. Keep up the excellent entertainment. Well, appreciate that, Robert. Thank you. Good to see you. Glad that you could join in live. You use it in the mines. Ah. So if you use freeze time in the mines, I'm kind of curious. If you use freeze time in the mines, does it change? Does it go away when you go to the next level or does it not? <clears throat> hey, Jefferson. In walks Jeffer Jefferson. Can you say very one more time? Uh, very, 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 very. 
Hey, Sydney, how you doing? Sydney says, going to bed, uh, being good white noise. Have a great stream. Thank you, Sydney. Have a good night's sleep. Have a good night's sleep, Sydney. Come on. No, 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 no. Just grab that. Thank you. We want wood. We need wood. We need more wood. It just is what it is. See, I thought that with... Because it says area, right? So I was thinking, like, if you left an area, if what that meant in my head was if you were to pull up a load screen, you know, if a load screen happened, then your freeze would go away. That's what area kind of meant to me a little bit. So that's good to know, though. That's good to know that, yes, you could just use it in the mine. That's not considered leaving a area when you do go to another level. That's good to know. Uh, by the way, look at this. This looks fantastic. I love the look of this where they have it roped off. Uh, Parker has the actual wheelbarrow. He's got a dirt up, like a pile of dirt. I'm very impressed on how he got this all here. Very well. Good job. Good job, Parker. Hey, Tiger. How you doing? Wanted to hop on stream while I had some extra time. Well, good to see you, Tiger. Hey, Fane. <laughs> only works on one level. So wait, the freeze time only works on one level. Is that is is that exactly what I suspected then? Do you need silkworm? Yeah, I need silkworm for the silk production. Yeah, I need to get silkworm from, I believe, Kai. Kai gives the silkworm. Thank you, Crystal. I appreciate that. Thank you for subscribing as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Crystal. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yes. Farseer. Let's do it. Whoa! Yo! You just, like, get undressed right here in the... Yeah! So you're the Farseer. That means that you can see the future? When the need arises. Yeah! But there's plenty to see in the here and now if you just pay attention. <laughs> you sound just like my grandma. I miss her so much. I want to do what she said oh, and make things better between the coven and the town, but... I don't really know where to start. Ah, that's simple enough. You just gotta find a way into their hearts. Simple as that, huh? Here. Craft this crystal ball in your sanctum. What? Once you've created it, you'll be able to see the heart's desire of any person on the island. We already know that. This crystal ball potion anytime you want to use your crystal ball. Come see me when it's ready. Okay, look here. Two things. One thing, I had no idea he was going to just take his robes off. Second, we don't need to see... Like, we don't need to have a crystal ball to see everybody's love. We already know... Everybody on the island loves Giva. That's that's it. See anything in the stars tonight, Farseer? All that is past. All that will be. Wait, that's no star. Pretty sure that's one of Giva's radio gadgets. I still need to get him honey, right? Or some kind of... What do I need to get you for the honey? The Fey folk expect us humans to pay their respects. They're a capricious sort otherwise. I know. I know. Do you? The crystal ball. Hooray. A new recipe. Crystal ball potion. Holy crap. Now he just chills out here with no robes. Good for him. Summer is... There's so much to do in this season. I tell you what. This season is bumping out of control. My lord. <clears throat> hey, Rhea says, I ho really hope the devs update soon. I have noticed that I quickly run out of things to do on in this game. Um, have you played the entire game through? Second of all, they are updating, but it's not going to be major uh, updates. And it won't be until they said sometime after release. So since release just came out, it might be sometime after for sure. But I'm assuming you've beat the game already if you've ran out of things to do. I don't know what happens to the end game. I'm really not sure. Like, I don't know if you could just, like, continue to farm or whatnot. Uh, let's go downstairs and see what it takes to make a crystal ball. What does it take? A hundred, this, that, iron, sick, got it, cool. Okay, potion-wise, though, potion-wise, we'll wait until the morning. We'll wait till the morning. Watching while at work and waiting on the hurricane to send me home. Good lord. Am I ready for bed? Do you have to plant trees in a garden box? I'm not sure. I haven't planted any trees yet. No. Hmm. Oh. I thought Bruno for a while because of all the fish, but that's awesome. There is sh there is it Shelby. 
<laughs> hey, oh, the festivals today. We're going to be celebrating a festival today. Oh, very good. Uh, before I go to the festival, though, let me go ahead and collect this and see what the crystal ball does. So we need essence of copper. We need red dye. Uh, use this on the crystal ball to reveal the heart's desire of one person. The crystal ball can be built at the sanctum. Okay, that's pr pretty cool. Uh, red dye, shouldn't it be too hard to make? I don't think. Possibly. Possibly. How long do we have for this? Still one more day? 15 hours. 15 hours left. Okay. Red dye is created up in the shed. So there's that. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's go here. No, not red cloth. I need red dye. Red dye. Red dye is right here. Right? No. Right here. No. That looked like dye. Do I not have the... the, the how do I do the dye? Dying bath? Not the dying bath. Silkworm. Um. I forgot how to make the dye. Oh my lord. I forgot how to make the dye. Ay. Hmm. Ay. Okay, we'll go to the chicken. Well, actually, hang on a sec. We'll water this stuff over here first. Yeah. Hmm. There we go. Uncloak, uncloak, unrobed, unsomething, un the man has now been here to, uh, uh, to, 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 to show us his real identity. <laughs> Not yet per day. Uh, I, like I have to go to bed because I ran out of energy, but also don't have the resources to make food slash energy, etc. Oh, well, uh, I mean, when you get those resources and those foods and all that, I mean, it, the, it starts to pick up. Yeah, there is more stuff to do. You just you just got to get there. It's a very uh, it's a very linear kind of experience. Like I don't know if you're in summer yet, but if you're not in summer yet, you know, continue the story and you will get to summer. And then right now, currently summer is just really like, there's a lot to do right now. Currently, there's I feel like there's a lot to do in summer. Uh, than there was doing in spring. But yeah, you you progress. You just progress. Oh, die is in the basement. Okay, good shout. Thank you. Dies in the basement. Holy crap. Enjoy the festival. When you're ready, speak to Mayor Otto to proceed to the nighttime beach celebration. So, oh, let's talk to everybody. You have to talk to everybody during the festival. Children first. Hello. How can I help you? I helped you actually with the lemonade stand. Uh-oh. I have seen that look in your eye before, Finn. <laughs> it's nothing. I just... <laughs> Put shaving foam instead of whipped cream on the mere slice of cake. That's disgusting. That's not even funny. That that's not even that's just that's that that sucks. That's that ruining like not even for the mayor, but you just ruined a nice cake. Why can't we have the summer festival inside Kim's store? They keep the AC blasting. The butcher shop is the most interesting place on the island anyway. Oh, very well, Julia. All right, Amira. Take it easy on me, Amira. Excited for the festival, Amira? I suppose. I just hope Damon is sparing with the libations. I don't have enough burn cream if too many people get close to the bonfire. <laughs> Look, if you have people burning themselves in mass amounts of volume, you should probably be questioning your community. That's all I gotta say. Hi, Emmy. Had some popcorn? No. Just three pieces of cake and some s'mores. Summer festival is the best. The best! Whee! Three, pa three pieces of cake? That's a lot, dude. I cannot do three pieces of cake. Bruno! Happy. <laughs> is he drunk? Summer festival. I love a good celebration. The man's drunk? Thank you, Gaming Nan. I appreciate that. Do they have a summer festival in Milkwater too, Vanessa? Yes, but it's far less charming. There's a big parade and a carnival. Just a loud mess, really. Hey, Margaret, how you doing? I've never understood people who say, nice weather, isn't it? All weather is nice. Stop it. Stop it, Giva. You're doing me dirty now. Do I have corn for you? Here's some popcorn. No butter, and we ran out of salt. It's 
Great. What are you talking about? Thanks, Thomas. Why you give me butter with no butter? Or sorry, popcorn with no butter and popcorn with no salt. What the hell is this then? What did you just give me? Kettle corn? But not even kettle corn. What did you just give me? Has anybody ever? The best thing, one of the best things to do. Maybe some people might agree. Maybe some people might not. Have your popcorn. Have it with some butter. Have it with some Parmesan cheese. And then have it with some bacon grease, dude. Yeah, bacon grease on your popcorn. That's the way to go. Caramel popcorn. Okay, so he might have did just give us some kettle corn. <laughs> Woohoo, summer! Who wants some wheat ale? I'll take some ale. Hey, Aunt Captain, how you doing? Thank you, Aunt Captain. Having a good day, Sebastian? Hurt you! Ugh. My sister made me help her haul over all the sunflowers this morning. I'm gonna be sneezing all day. <laughs> and kneecap the mayor. <laughs> hey, crazy, how you doing? What a great tradition this is, Lena. Yes. I like to think my ancestors would be pleased that we haven't forgotten them. I'm right there with you, Serendipity. Hey, Q, how you doing? Oh, God, what do you have to say about this? The uh, logistics of this beach festival is um, off to a 2% degree where I cannot do anything with my life. Therefore, everybody gets burned. Funny custom, a summer festival. But then all holidays are relics of a superstitious, more primitive past. The cake is good, though. There's cake? Where? Basically what I just said. Burn cream, the villager became ghostwriter. This festival is so fun. Eh, Yo, calm down. Fine, I guess. You should have been here when my dad was mayor and my mom was captain. <laughs> that was a slamming party. I feel like your family would put out some banging uh, parties. Yeah. Hello, Kai. <sighs> I love a good bonfire. Just staring into the fire and thinking about, like, deep stuff about life. You're not wrong about that, Kai, I will say. A bonfire does, you know, d does take it out on us a little bit. As in, like, we just sit there in deep thought and just stare into the fire. We have that warm gaze on our bodies and we're just, like, zoned out on it. I, I, I agree. Fine day, eh, Parker? Always is. Sad that all that perfectly good wood will be going up in smoke, though. Yeah, I can see. All right. Hello, Sophia. I can't wait to see the bonfire, Sophia. I know. It's even bigger than the one Vanessa put together last year. Uh, not that it's a bigger. competition. But if it was, I would win. <laughs> all thanks to your help. She always, like, is competing, isn't she? She is. She's got that going for her, at least. Huh, Natalia? Happy Summer Festival Day! Of course, I like the winter one better. Well, there's no mistletoe in summer. Oh, oh right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Spicy. Hey, Francis. Enjoying the festival, Francis? I'll enjoy getting my partner back. He's been coming home in a cloud of powdered sugar every night. Yeah! You know, somebody made a good point uh, on a comment the other day. They said, how come Marty... You know, give up, give up moves in. She's like, are you serious about this, Mayor Otto? I have to do this game where I have to go meet everybody. How come Marty didn't have to play the game where he go meet everybody? You know what I mean? Oh, I love summer festivals. Picks of bonfires always blow up on social. All right, thank you. You're suspect, man. You're suspect. Hello, Angus. Whoa. Strawberry shortcake? That really is a huge strawberry shortcake. Thanks. You get extra since you helped. Although, Cameron has been telling us that we really shouldn't celebrate the summer festival since it's a folk tradition. He says old superstitions block our way to the summit. Maybe this will be my last year. Three shortcake, baby. Shortcake headache. Okay. That looks good. I'm, I'm a big fan of strawberry shortcake, even though that's not how our strawberry shortcakes look. Regardless, it looks fantastic. Hey, Queen Zelda, how's it going? Oh, we got to walk over here to talk to Shelby. Can we like talk to him and be like, hey, thank you for taking your robes off? I don't venture into town too often, but days like these, well, I think it's worth the noise. <laughs> 
Yeah, I agree. Uh, starting playing this game today, it's cute, and uh, the NPCs are so interesting. It goes back to, like, you know, I, I, I will forever, like, kind of, kind of compare it to, like, farm games. Either, either like, Harvest Moon or, like, um, like uh, Stardew Valley or things like that. It, it's, it's always nice to have the voice acting and not have to read a bunch of dialogue and just react to the personalities that are, that are given to us. It's really good in that sense. I Having like it. fun, Kim? Yep, there's nothing I love more than forced communal merriment. Yeah. <laughs> All right, my good man. Here you go. Time to uh, give it to me. Well, isn't everyone just having the grandest time? Do you think it's time we head to the beach for the nighttime celebrations? Yes. Okay, let's all head to the beach. Mayor Soft, does the new rancher seem a bit odd to you at all? Huh? Odd? Yeah. No, he's a bit green, but so were you not long ago, eh, Tara? I guess that's a good point. That's exactly. No. He's a totally normal guy who decided to be a rancher out of the blue, and it's our good fortune that he moved here. That is a little I don't even know. I don't believe him. Look at the way he walks. Look at the way Otto walks. Not cool. This guy is like, he's on to something, man. He is definitely on to something. He's covering up. Hi, oh. everyone. I'm so glad you could all be here. There's one thing I want to say before the party really gets started. Every year, the captain of the summer festival crowns a summertide star. The star is someone we want to feel special and appreciated. So, this year... I wanted to crown someone who's only been with us a few months, but has already been through so much on Fairhaven. Tara, you will always be welcome here. And I'm making you the Summertide Star so you'll never forget. Oh, Sophia, that's so sweet. Even though Hazel's passed, we're all still here for you. Let's get a round of applause for Tara Wilde. Our summer tide star. Dude, she gets to sit in the chair. Go on, take your seat and enjoy yourself. Time to light this thing. Oh, I'm so excited. Thank you, Sophia. Gosh, what a blaze! That's very on fire. <laughs> Is a bonfire supposed to be that big and um fiery? In any case, I'm so proud of this community for coming together for yet another wonderful summer festival. Ah, it's hard to follow in Mrs. Soft's shoes. Whoa! What? What? What the what? Did, did I fall and it hit my head? Ah! A human! Who the hell are you? Tara Wild? Is that you? Yes. Uh, but, but who are you? You're familiar, but I can't... <laughs> oh, buckles and buttons! It sure is, Tara! Ariel, if this is a prank, I'm going to blast you. You think I did this? <laughs> I like a good joke, but... I Look at his head rules. and his body. What have you done? Why is it backwards? This, I swear. And his feet. Sophia just named me the Summer Tide Star, and I ended up here. No, we haven't called a Summer Tide Star here for generations. What is happening? The townspeople forgot us long ago. Teleportation magic is advanced. It's not something a new witch could know. But if she didn't send herself here, then who? Again? What? Who are those people? Were they even people? What the? Whew. I don't think anybody saw. Otto is still talking. Did time even pass here? And I would like to say one more thing. We must remember that we must all unite to keep Fairhaven safe. And that is why I am announcing the founding of the Fairhaven Culture Committee. The Fairhaven Culture Committee will preserve our history and champion our unique culture and values. Whose history? 
Whose culture? Well, I've run my mouth long enough. May the rest of the summer be bounteous, friends. Ah, he hid something there. He hid it. You better go see if the Coven knows anything about whatever just happened. Holy crap. Now the sun begins to wane. We celebrate nature's gifts and ready ourselves for the harvest. Farseer, uh, you know the Fey folk you keep mentioning? I think they teleported me to their magical village in the middle of the summer festival. I told you to pay your respects, didn't I? <laughs> one of them was short with pink hair, and another one was covered in fur. The third had, I can't believe I'm saying this, backwards feet. What was that place? <laughs> On some nights, the walls between the worlds become thin. There's more than one world? Shh. You won't be able to journey back there the same way again. Well, how can I get back there? By boat would be the proper way. But I don't have a boat. Of course you do. In the lake by your farm. It was Hazel's and bonded to her Aunt Vivian before her. Always been there. You just didn't have eyes to see. So that was a lot. That was a lot to take in. There was a lot of things going on there. There's a lot of story, uh, more in, in, in increase of story questions that like, what the hell is going on type thing. Um, that was pretty cool. That place that we went to that it just looked really neat. Um, those characters seem kind of interesting. Other than that, basically look for a boat somewhere near your farm. Basically, what I got from all of that is that um, we have gone probably about six months into the year. Yeah, we're in summer now, right? You could say about six months and nobody has ever changed their outfit. Nobody has decided to put on a different pair of clothes. That's basically what I got from from that festival. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool, though. I, I will say. That was very cool. I, I, I am a fan of what just happened. I'm really intrigued now. Now that there's a boat going to... I don't even know what that place was called. But it was magical and it looked really cool. There's a boat that we... So we can just go whenever we want? That was pretty cool. Fascinating turn of events. Yeah, absolutely. That was a fascinating turn of, turn of events, wasn't it? So, oh, it's right there. No? Wait a sec. Is that the boat? That's, that must be the boat. That has to be the boat, right? Huh. When did this get here? Eyes to see. Maybe when I visited that strange place, the veil hiding this boat was lifted. Yeesh. Is she even seaworthy? I better fix it up before trying to sail anywhere. Easy, silver, iron. Yeah, we could do that. Absolutely. Give up. What are you doing? I know you're going home, but really your home is right here. I don't need to talk to her again. <laughs> we already talked. I don't think I talked to the cat today, though. Did I talk to the cat? I did not. That was crazy, dude. Yeah, they, they, they put in a lot of stuff there in like three minutes, didn't they? They crammed it in. They were not afraid. Wow, that was pretty cool, though. It was It was really cool, regardless. Really cool. And it just makes, it, it just excites me. And it, it makes me like, think, you know, what's next, right? Always. What's next? What's next? What's next? Uh, real quick though, lemonade stand today. We will do that eventually. Um, patch things. We're doing that eventually. Uh, wasn't there something? No, no, no. Okay. All right. Uh, let's go downstairs. We want to see the red dye and what it takes to make the red dye. We can make the red dye with multiple things. Very cool. I will make one red dye. There's a red dye for us, which should help us with our potion once we get Essence of Copper. We cannot get Essence of Copper. Oh, this is done. Now we can get Essence of Copper going. Let's get the Essence of Copper going. How long does that take? Four hours. All right, so that should be done in the morning. We can give off the honey lint, honey mint cooler thing in the morrow. Very good. Should I go to bed? You should go to bed. No laundromat? Yeah, apparently there's no laundromats here. That's also just what I what I picked up on this. 
Room to grow. Oh, I think we got our, uh, our, our patch now. Yeah, I think we got our garden patch. Now we can kind of transfer everything over to that. Very cool. Go downstairs. We're going to grab my essence. Thank you. And we'll get this roll in here. Crystal ball potion. There we are. And then let me just double check to see what I need for the crystal ball stand. Just an iron ingot. Fair enough. Uh, do I have any speed boost on me? I do not have any speed boost on me. Um, let's see. I can make a speed boost. All right. Make a speed boost because that's going to run out here in a sec. We'll do that. There we go. Very cool. Hey, hooray. All right. So that's done. Cooking. We'll, we'll, we'll wait on that for a sec. Uh, I will look at our patch here in a moment. Let me just go ahead and water our crops and do all that. Now we could probably think about uh, getting our... What is it? Getting our um, silkworm in. Now that we have more room to work with and things like that. More garden patches and, and whatnot. You know, more stuff, basically. Yeah, more stuff. You know what? In a land like this, I think the clothes magically just get cleaned. The clothes magically clean themselves. There you go. Exactly. Yeah. They have like some kind of like um, the wand, right? The wand can just simply uh, hit it with the um, hit it with the tide. Hey, Lalu, how you doing? Hope all is well. How long to craft the potion? Uh, the potion. Uh, let's see. That's a good question. Let's see. I wasn't. It was. Let's see. Eight hours. So just for the rest of the day. <clears throat> for the rest of the day, it should be good. Let's come over here. Let's go ahead and water this. Yeah, water that. <clears throat> it's just funny, dude. It's really funny. It's a, it's a, it's a funny thing. Now this area we could definitely move if we wanted to, I guess. Kind of move some of these crops out. Maybe make this a flower only slash honey area if we wanted to. We can kind of do something like that. Then we have this area. Look at this. Look at this. Wonderful. Garden bed, compost bin, beehives. It's definitely going to be a uh, a like garden plot, obviously. We want to get make multiple of these. There we go. Go. what is this what is that what does this do oh you switch farms oh that's really good oh wait can i actually pick these up then can i say pick this up and go to the next no switch plots rotate place destroy switch plots <gasps> yes oh yes fantastic okay cool so i can just take these pick them up and put them over here now oh very good good job game good job I approve. I absolutely approve. That makes things a lot easier. Here we go. <clears throat> this. There we go. We're going to be very, very uh, mindful of what we do here. There we go. There we go. Like I said, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a flower area with beehives and compost possibly this could be our flower beehive compost area i kind of like that idea and maybe we can make some more sunflowers and things like that yeah pretty cool hey shorty how you doing um right so that's good for now we can go between this right yeah we can sick okay new garden beds we could put in the new things here but i'm gonna wait until i go talk to kai today i'm gonna wait until i talk to kai um, that's going to be done. Crystal ball is going to be done soon. Uh, we can do that later. Lemonade. We got to go to the lemonade stand today. Oh, there's so much, so much good things to do. So many, so much good things in like so little time. Feed the chicken. Yeah, that's the thing is I want places for trees too. Um, so we got to get the trees in. We got to get all these vegetables and, and fruits, right? Well, I guess if it comes from a tree, it's a fruit, right? It's not a vegetable. Even if it is an avocado. That's a fruit. An olive. An olive's a fruit. Yeah? Or we've had this discussion many times. <laughs> uh, I forgot what game we got into a deep discussion about it. There you go. Good kitty. 
Smelly cat, smelly cat, what are they feeding you? Smelly cat, smelly cat. It's not your fault. All right. Just making sure we're okay. We are good. Beeswax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beeswax. Eh, why not? Let's do it. Glad for the stream to take my mind off the hurricane. Oh, very well. Very well, shorty. I hope you stay safe, though. If anything. Oh, yeah, there's a lemonade. There he is. Oh, look at him. Very cool. Hey, uh, do bugs like lemonade? I want to catch some bugs. And maybe they'd cluster around a cup of lemonade. Like they do around porch lights. And why do you need bugs, Finn? For reasons what reasons what reasons could that be oh look at this entrepreneurship look real professional let me snap a photo dad we're working hey it's era want some lemonade you get a discount because you helped us i sure do five lemonades wow that's pretty cool nice cool 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 uh, hello, my good man. I would like to talk to you about, um, purchasing something. Mulberry lemon tree pomegranate. He does have a silkworm. He does not have a silk seed right now. Um, I will buy the silkworm just to fast that process. Pomegranate, mulberry, or lemon. Um, hang on, let's sell them a beeswax. We need to dye the other purple cloth. We will sell him the purple cloth as well. Hey, Kai's treasures went up and leveled up. Nice. Which gave us a lime tree. Okay, a lime tree and some saffron. Saffron. Um, I'm kind of thinking lemon tree. And pomegranate tree. I want to get like one of each eventually, right? What's the thing here? Plant this seedling in the garden bed and wait 15 days for it to grow into a lemon tree. So this could be grown during any time of this, uh, any time of the year, right? I guess is what that's saying. Let's buy a lemon tree and let's test it out first. Yeah, let's test it out. Damn it, Amira is not here. I need the mulberry tree. Okay, let me go back and get the mulberry tree. Time out. Oh, is it the mulberry tree? Is that the mulberry tree that produces the silk? Oh, okay. I, I, that, that, that was just totally me not, well, forgetting that the mulberry tree produces. Is that what produces the silkworm? Or something like that? I have this game, but I can't stay off of uh, Disney Dreamlight long enough to play anything else. I'm going to start this tonight. Did I make the silk box worm uh, yet? No, that's why I got the uh, silk worm. Hello, Amira. Hello, spicy lady. Emmy and Finn are quite generous with the sugar in their lemonade. <laughs> I'm glad I'm the town doctor, not the dentist. Okay, uh... Am I sure this is the adept witch? I'll have to make another potion and explain myself if I'm wrong. I'm sure. Um... Here you go, Dr. Syed. What is this? Oh, uh... <laughs> I'm just fooling with you, Terry. Scared the crap out of me. Well done. I suppose the honey and mint might have been a bit of a giveaway. The others might present a bigger challenge. Talk to the coven members and see if any are willing to take this leap of faith. Hooray! We did it! We have now discovered another witch. It's Amira. Nice. Sick. Hey, Angela. Angela says, been watching these and enjoying it. Just wanted to say hi before catching up. It's like a show and I love it. Oh, very well. Good to see you, Angela. Thank you. Appreciate the kind words.
Mandrake. We have, we actually do need a lot of Mandrake. We are we're running low on Mandrake. I guess Mandrake's not a seasonal thing. It comes whenever it pleases. Okay, anything else? Want to go to the Coven tonight? Uh, take a look real quick. What else do we need? We needed five iron ingots and one silver. I do not know if Natalia is open today on a Sunday. I do not remember if it's just universally everybody's closed on a Sunday. Nope, she is right there. So she is definitely not open. All right. Well, that answers that. I should buy Man uh, Mandrake from Shelby. That's a good point. Hey, Luis uh, says, I can finally watch your stream because I'm a bit further along in the game. So no spoilers. Oh, very good. Very good. Very good indeed. All right. Let's see. Uh, what I'll do is I'll cut down some trees and I'll wait for the coven to come back and then we'll do that. That's what we'll do. Yeah. Okay. Gives the leaves for the silkworms. There we go. Got it. Thank you for that. There we go. Wouldn't it be bad to have one of those gathering up spells on me either, huh? Instead of like picking all this up individually. I don't know why every time I watch the stream, I feel hungry. So I'm going to dip out and cook a bit of noodle. Now, okay, everybody, for the most part, does get hungry during my streams. Topic of conversation is either game, gaming, or food. Somebody was like, I'm watching this. I forgot who it was. Somebody recently just said, I'm watching this stream and it's like late. And now you're talking about food and now I need a midnight snack. Someone just like commented about on that the other day, yesterday, maybe or two days ago. Regardless, we made them hungry in the middle of the night when they watched the replay. There we go. A lot more wood on us. <laughs> We'll sit here and wait for a sec. <clears throat> May I suggest you get a post-it note and write down who is open on what day along with person's favorite food? Well, I mean, we have kind of a post-it note here about favorite food. We know whose people's favorite food is. I mean, once we discover it, of course. Uh, it's like writing down uh, people's... Um, like stores, we could just see that as well. So th there is like a built in kind of like post it. Hey, Taku, how you doing? Hey, uh, Ara, how you doing? <clears throat> I've said with a couple times, I know last night it was almost one and I was starving after the talk of peanut. Ah, that's, I think that's what it was. Yes, the peanut butter sandwiches. <laughs> Hello. Journeyman. Actually, hang on. Hold your, hold your, hold your thought, journeyman. Let me talk to Miss uh, Blue Robe. Yeah. Here, just accept the fact that seasons have to get turned, like mattresses. <laughs> no, not at all. It was hard for me to accept too. What I learned is that places close to wellsprings are easily untethered from the realities of our world. For example, weather. Oh, very good. Oh, I love it now. Okay, now the journeyman. This is either Kai or Damon, 100%. Hey, new witch. Is it my turn to unmask? This thing is getting pretty itchy. Hey, you know, if you want to just take it off, I won't tell anyone. Nice try, but you gotta work for it. <laughs> you need to brew what? something so good, it'll make you float right off the ground. Literally. It's a limitation potion. So witches do fly. Yeah, but we need the right juice to do it. Don't go drinking it just yet. It's for your broom. You can't be serious. Witches don't actually fly on brooms. Of course we do. But not like regular brooms. That would be ridiculous. <sighs> yes, that would be ridiculous. Here's the recipe. You'll need to use your distillery as well as your cauldron to get it just right. This is Damon. I 100% I, I believe this is Damon. So make a levitation potion as part of your quest to unlock the journeyman's identity. I 100% believe this is Damon. We have Damon. We have Shelby. Amira. But yeah, I, th he's too laxadelic. Laxadelic? Laxadelic? Um, for it to be Kai. 
Yeah, that that definitely is Damon. Boom, 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 boom. He doesn't say bro enough, exactly. <laughs> Okay, let's put these bad boys into the ground now real quick. <clears throat> I would like to plant a lemon tree. Do I have to water these trees? I would like to plant a mulberry tree. There we go. Okay, I don't need a water. Okay, so <clears throat> we've done did that. Now one thing that we could do is actually build the silk box, right? Silkworm box right away since we bought it. We got lucky and just bought it. We'll do that. And then this, we need the leaf. Okay, yeah. So we need the leaf. I see. Okay. Never mind. We did not get lucky. We just bought it. Did not make a difference whether or not, it, you know, whatever the circumstance was on that. It doesn't matter. Let's go here and we will build that. I would like to build another one. <clears throat> there we go. And another one. I should just click the blueprint up there. Instead of backing out every time. There we go. There we go. And this should really increase our honey production. Right? 100%. Did I run out of money? I did run out of money. Yeah, so this should definitely uh, increase our honey production. Okay. Go downstairs. Grab the potion. Crystal ball potion has now been done. Uh, levitation. What do we need for that? Oh, essence of copper. That's it. Oh, well, that's simple. That's like happening right now, right? No. Well, now it is super simple. All right. So that's going to be done soon. Uh, crystal ball stand. We need just one iron still. Okay. One iron. Got it. Okay. Very simple. Very easy. Um, we haven't made food in a while. That's fine. Is it time for bed? There we go. Okay. Yes. Go. <clears throat> also figure out who doesn't go to the bar at night mayor might be one of them could also figure out who doesn't go to the bar at night mayor might not be one uh oh might be one of them let's see here <clears throat> get our spell on there we go it's like windy today the time for walking slow has passed lighten my feet and make me fast have a good one shorty and uh, please be safe absolutely <clears throat> hey Naomi, Naomi says, "Have you checked the community board for tasks? It can help with earning a bit of gold." I have, I have, uh, I have, I've, I've checked it before. <clears throat> I've done some tasks, but you know, I don't know. <laughs> I'm hoping, I'm hoping, uh, mm, I'm hoping you when you when can you make the meta allergy? Meta, meta aller, meta, meta, meta allergy table. What the heck is that? <clears throat> Hope I can take you away. No, I, if anything's gonna keep you awake, it's gonna be the hurricane. Not, I don't. I don't even need to be there. Like, there's already a storm brewing. I'm just, you know, I'm just the forehead that's just going about. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Get some soil. I might actually uh, get more soil compost as well. Yeah. Hey, we got some worms on there too. Yeah, I might build some more uh, soil composts. Two more. <laughs> to be exact. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Let's see. Good, okay. Good, good, good. Wonderful. Okay, check my quest real quick. We have the shoot. That's going to come eventually. We need to go to Natalia. Yeah, we need to go to Natalia. Natalia's going to give us iron and silver. Or we need iron and silver, of course. Let's go here. Natalia, how you doing? What's up with you, girl? 
on the dating apps, I keep matching with guys from Milkwater. <laughs> when I say I live in Fairhaven, they stop messaging me. Come on, the ferry's not so bad. Sometimes the captain lets you toot the horn. Right. Okay, let's go uh, with six of these, I think. And I guess one of those. I don't have enough money to do more than that, but that's all right. Okay, we can go ahead and sell a couple of things at Sophia's Diner. Because we have a lot of stuff that we can sell. And we have some stuff to sell to Lena as well if we want to. I'm going to go to Sophia first. Yeah, I'm going to go to Sophia first. Uh, all right, I'm not going to go to Sophia first. She closed on a Monday? She just closed on a Monday. All right, so I guess I'm going to go to Lena instead. Hey, Damon. I'm about to uncover you, my good man. I know it. Hey, congrats, Summertide Star. Hazel would have been proud. Thanks. Uh, Demon? Did you see anything out of the ordinary last night? Yeah, I saw Bruno go home without drinking a drop all night. I think Otto's been on his case again. Oh. All right. Very much so. Lena! Please come here, Lena. We need to talk. Lena. Thanks again for helping the kids with their stand. Of course, now Emmy's asking for a credit card so she can start building her credit. You guys have to worry about building credit here on Fairhaven? This should be a magical place. Just be like, I want an 800 credit score, please. Um, <laughs> maybe that's not how it works. Let's see here. I would like to give you not blackberries because blackberries are actually used for something for us. We're going to sell you some eggs for right now. Probably sell you some strawberries. I could be using these in recipes, but I'm not going to. Holy crap, we have so many tomatoes. I'm not going to right now. And we'll just keep coming along with that stuff. So that's a good little money bump there. 452. <clears throat> I could go and make some more silver, but I'm going to run on over to Parker real quick because I'm going to see what le what next we could do. All right, let's see here. Hey, Awful Gaming, how you doing? We'll talk to him first. Always expects me to come visit Marcus in Milkwater. And don't get me wrong, I'm happy to, but I wish she made more time to come visit my mom in the city. Oh, okay. You guys have a lot of issues, don't you? So the barn, to get the barn, we're going to need a lot of iron and a lot of wood eventually. And it's going to cost 18 hundo. Right, okay. <clears throat> the other thing that we can do is build the boat. Yeah, build the boat, which we should probably think about doing right now. Build the boat. See where the boat takes us. And then I'll come back to Natalia. And Natalia will produce us what we need. I think we need some more silver, I think, if I remember correctly. More silver? Is that what it is? I need to gather supply. Oh wait, do I have it on my list here? I do. I need one more wood. All right, one more wood. One more wood, and then I might go back for iron then for Nat for Natalia. <clears throat> there we go. Hey, Fit Rad, how you doing? Having to build credit? That's way too realistic. I know, right? <laughs> Okay, let's build this boat now. There we go. Should I repair the boat? You absolutely should. There we go. We'll build the the, the boat out so that we can take a visit. Nice. Oh, but now what? You get in it and you row. And try floating in the lake in circles. But I think the farseer will know what I need next. Oh, shall we? So talk to the farseer and tell him what you've repaired or tell him that you've repaired the boat. Okay, very well. Um Okay, very cool, very cool. Crystal ball. Let me just take a quick look at the crystal ball again. We po we're not brewing anything, are we? We're not. We have the potion, right? We have the crystal ball potion. We already did that. Uh, we just need the essence for that, which should be done. It is done. There we go. We'll switch over to this. And we say, give me the levitation. This will take four hours. Oh, okay. So that could be done today. Very cool. This needs one piece of wood, and we're going to build that. Okay, cool. Nice. All right, so let's go grab one piece of wood. We got to go wood farming and, like, iron and all that farming and silver farming and all that. Whew. A lot of work. A lot of work today, right? A lot of work. There is one thing, one thing I would do if I can make people do anything. It would get people to stop panic buying, especially gas. <laughs> Oh, yeah, uh, that will never happen, first of all. 
even when we had the, when we have wildfires here that's like one thing that is insane is is like panic buying uh supplies essentials toilet paper food stocking up uh gasoline right they always do it every time there's a wildfire they just they they do it it, it, it one time it actually did suck because one time we had a um we had a wildfire so close so bad to us that our entire town uh ran out of well the power went out right the power went out throughout the entire city the city grid got uh got damaged so that means uh businesses had no electricity grocery stores <clears throat> had no electricity and um gas stations a lot of people forget gas stations have no electricity when the gas stations don't have electricity you can't pump your gas so it's always like a it's always good uh i mean if you ever are the type of person that um you know one thing that has teach me with like natural disasters is that You have, say you have your car, right? You have your car and you're like, it's maybe a little bit of notches above E, right? And you're like, I'll just get gas in the morning or I got, I'll, I'll get gas in a couple of days. I'll just save my money for today and not get it. I'll just get it in a couple of days, right? It can be a bad thing because if something were to ever happen um, and like a natural disaster were to happen and you are running on that little speck of E, right? Um, and there's no power at your gas station that can be, uh, you can run out of gas and then you're, you're, you're shrewd in that way. So it's always good to have like maybe half a tank of gas in your car, not at all times, but maybe half a tank to a quarter at least. And, um, you know, in case disasters like that strike, you never know. Uh, <clears throat> hurricanes, you can definitely kind of prepare for things like that. Um, wildfires, you can't really just prepare for because it just springs out of nowhere sometimes. Uh, earthquakes, kind of the same thing. Let's see here. I kind of want to know Giva. I don't want to, like, use it, though. Hang on a sec. I should probably wait on that. Levitation there. Three levitation potions. <clears throat> Let's see here. Got the uplifting. See you, Crystal. Okay, use the Crystal Ball to discover the Farseer's favorite food. Okay, the favorite food of Farseer. Nice. We can actually do that? Cool. Okay. So Shelby, we do Shelby, right? Hmm. Well, I think I see something. He likes tomato soup. Oh, this is cool. This is really cool. So now we can stop guessing and just go for it, right? Absolutely. Fish stew. Make fish stew for the far steer. Seer. Well, we already have that, baby. Oh, very cool. <clears throat> Hey, Tech Gaming, how you doing? Sure, it's kind of the same. Uh, generally, I can tell someone is not from Florida because they are panic buying things. Yeah, it, it's just like <clears throat> the whole gas thing, right? The whole gas situation where it's like, yeah, you, sh you should have gas in your car. It, I think it's just more or less like depending on where you live like for, for instance like last year a big fire sp sprouted out like a couple hours or sorry a couple miles away from us and we were i think i was in the middle of a live stream and my alert went off maybe this was like this year maybe a few months ago this happened yeah i think it was a couple months ago that that this happened um <clears throat> the fire sprouted out and it was a couple miles down the road and they're like you need to evacuate now and it's like oh well i'm in the middle of streaming i think i had to cut my stream because I'm like, guys, I got to go because they're telling me to evacuate right now. So something like that where you have no time to prepare, you just got to hope that you have freaking gas in your car, you know, because you never know what will happen. I forgot what game we were playing. We were playing a game and we, we were in a live stream and they were like, my phone made that horrible sound, horrible alert sound. Everybody on the stream heard it. Let's see here. Um, yes. Here you go. One fish stew. Fish stew. Well, that smells just fine. I thank you. Here's some more of that crystal ball potion. You'll need it. Hey, crystal clear. I 
fixed up the boat, but I still don't understand. There's nowhere for it to go. You'll be needing a charm to prove your fealty. And where would I find it? It was your great aunt's boat. Ask her. Do I gotta tell you everything? How can I ask my great aunt if she's... <sighs> Never mind. So great aunt Vivian knew the fealty incantation for entering Ravenwood Hollow. How can you learn it? Ah, oh, I love it. I love it. I absolutely love it. Journeyman. Right? I give this to the journeyman? Wait a sec. Give the levitation to... Yeah, to the... Oh, wait. During the daytime. Oh, my bad. So during the daytime. Okay, so I'm going to give that to Damon then. 100% during the daytime. That should be good. <clears throat> when it says... it, When it says to give it to someone... With their coven name, you have to give it to them when they are at the coven meeting? I don't think so. Right? So is to give it to them during the day? Is that what you mean? Panic buying also creates long-term shortages. Hey, yo. Okay, let's go down see here okay so we have that done we have that done the only thing we need next to do i believe is yeah great aunt vivian knew the fealty incantation for entering ravenwood how would you wait a sec a gift she gave someone else has been passed down to you best look at it at home oh the the broom it was grandma's broom yeah. I guess it's my broom. Levitation. Now. Right? No? Levitation? Potentially? That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, is it time for bed? <sighs> hey, Sai, how you doing? You should, you should visit the graveyard on Saturday or Sunday when Sophia is not working? Okay, good shout. see here whoops okay let's go in and water our stuff do our morning chores real quick jesus i love that she has like incredible hops i do i'm a big fan of that <clears throat> there we go pet yeah when we when we went out of power through a snowstorm we had no power for like uh no it's not the book uh we had no power for like um i think it was like eight days it was eight days after that we made some adjustments here at home we absolutely did make some adjustments here at home uh i got mres now um i had a back a backup generator right Backup generator, uh, especially when we lost all of our food. Um, plus, we needed to, to keep... Basically, our generator would keep our refrigerator going. It would give us a, a, an outlet, right? An outlet, and it would give us... Um, what else it would give us? It would give us... Uh, you know, be able to charge our phones, keep our TV on, and a DVD player. That's it, right? Uh, that that's all we had but luckily we had um we have uh we we we, we have hot, hot water so like our our gas we had gas we have gas sorry not we had we have so like our hot water we we had hot water we could use the stove you know light it with a match or something so that that was you know at least we could have hot water and things like that okay damon where are you buddy that's Kai. Gotta find Damon. Where does Damon hang out at? Oh, there's Wesley. Oh, there he is. You, my man. It's you. I know it's you. Am I sure this is the journeyman? This is the journeyman witch. I have to make another potion and explain myself if I'm wrong. Here you go, Damon. That looks perfect. You really do take after Hazel. 
If you make more, I'll buy it to add to drinks. A splash of levitation potion makes a lacquer good cocktail. But isn't that dangerous? Eh, a few sips of the stuff won't make gravity let up. It just makes you feel light on your feet. Love it. Love it. My mom was a summertime star once, right after we moved here. How old were you then? I, I feel like I remember seeing you playing in town by the general store. Oh, yeah. Lena used to mind me sometimes when my folks were running the bar. We moved to Fairhaven right when I was five. I don't have any memories of life back home, to tell you the truth. <clears throat> hey, Wesley. What's your selection of fantasy books like, Wesley? Quite robust. Though the titles I carry are a bit, uh, obscure. <laughs> I'll have to visit your shop sometime and see for myself. Yeah, once I think once you get into a situation where you've been caught not prepared, you will for always be prepared for the next one type thing for sure. Like when a snowstorm when a snowstorm hits, it's where I live at least. There, there's nothing I can do about it. I can't drive anywhere. I don't have like a four, you know, I don't have a truck. I don't have like four, uh, four wheel drive. I live on a slope. I live on a hill type thing. You know, I mean, you could put chains on your, on your car, but I, you know, <laughs> usually people over here in California, we're not experienced enough driving in the snow. So it can definitely, uh, cause a lot of problems if you know what I mean. I want to dis. I want to. I want to unveil. Uh, un. Unre. Un. Un. Unrobe him. Yeah, I want to unrobe him. Uh, okay. So we got the crystal ball. That's done. Uh, Parker. We need quite a bit of money. Eighteen hundred dollars for him. Let's go see Violet. Hey, Violet. How you doing, Violet? Got any flowers going on? When I was little, all the kids wore flower crowns to the summer festival. <laughs> it was super cute. You should see pictures of me. But. I'm kind of glad we're not doing it anymore. I don't have to attach flowers to those stupid wire frames that never hold together. I like you. And I want you forever to, to grow sunflower seeds. I might get more. You know what? What I'll do is I'll mix it up. I'll get marigold seeds now. I think four? Yeah, four for now. You get snow in Cali? I do. It gets 115 degrees here, and then it gets like 20 degrees here. We get snowstorms and all that. All right, so let's see here. I want to add just a couple more boxes. And then I want to fill it out with the beehive as well. <clears throat> so we want to go a couple more of these bad boys. Yes, that looks pretty good. That fits really good. This will be for more flowers. Just because I think it's cool. I don't know. I just like... Even if it's not efficient for beehiving, I think it looks cool though. Okay, no more wood on that. No more wood on that. And then compost bin. I just need wood for that. Okay. Get more flowers in. Yes, that's what we want. More flowers. Marigold flowers, then. Anywhere you go in the world, though. Anywhere you go in the world. Doesn't matter where you go. There will always be a natural disaster uh, threat. No matter what. You just gotta kind of pick and choose which is gonna be your natural disaster threat. We have wildfires here, but the other natural disasters that we have here are earthquakes. And apparently in the next like 10 or 20 years, our volcano is going to erupt. I don't know if that's true, but that's just what people are, are saying around town. We have one of the biggest volcanoes near us in the world. And they're like, oh yeah, in like 20, 30 years, 10, 20 years, it, it's gonna, it's gonna erupt. Oh, cool. All right. Thanks for that. <laughs> Let's go to the mine.
Oh, Big Bear Mountain, really? Big Bear Mountain? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to have family that lived in Big Bear Mountain, yeah. Strawberries make the most money in the summer, I found. Oh, good shout. There we go. Can you sell honey? Yeah, you can sell honey. I did not want to hit that one. Nope. Nope, don't hit that one. I gotta make the gather uh, spell. I'm like, I like it. I do like it. I like the speed boost over this over over the gathering, but I I, I do appreciate the gather spell. <clears throat> we don't get weather like that. We get a few storms, that's it. Mm. Having lived through the snowpocalypse in 2021 here in Texas, I prefer uh, being without power when it's hot than when it's cold. That was a miserable week. Yes. Yes. Anytime if you have to lose power, like we've even over here, We've lost power, obviously, during the snowstorm when it's very, like, cold. That happened, the snowstorm happened when, that was pretty cool, that was pretty rough. It dumped buckets of snow, tree fell on our house, everything, which was scary as hell, because Danielle and I were, like, standing in the hallway, because our power went out, and we were like, oh, you know, it's gonna get cold, and we're sitting here in the dark, let's try to figure out something to do. And we were standing in the hallway, looking at, like, things to do, like, we had, like, a puzzle or something or like we were like oh let's play some uno or something and then you just hear the crack of death happen outside and i was like oh my god and bam landed on our bedroom uh bedroom roof yeah bedroom roof luckily it was the top of the tree and not the uh you know the the trunk of the tree and then we had we you know we, we lost power from the fires during the summertime and like yeah i agree i'd rather lose power during the summer than the hot than the cold because the cold it can get pretty rough the only thing about good about the cold is like you can throw some food outside to keep it cold <laughs> or something if it needs to stay cold but yeah Me and my parents went in, uh, went, were, were in Hemet for my grandfather's wake. I couldn't make the funeral because of work, but my dad took us to Bear, Big Bear. It was nice. Very cool. Very cool. That's awesome. Yeah, I went to Big Bear to stay with family many, many, many years ago. It's, it's a nice, it's a nice little place up there. It is. They don't live there anymore. They moved to Arizona now, but. So we have no excuse to visit Big Bear. I can't believe I haven't found the key yet. What the heck? Where is my key? Where is my key? Yeah, that yeah. Happy we weren't hurt. The hardest thing was is just the aftermath. Any storms, anything like that. Hey, there's the keys. The key to the next level. Any storms like that. The the worst part of it is like I feel like the worst part of it is cleaning up afterwards. That sucks, dude. The trees that have fallen, all of these things, and you gotta clean up after. It's just, it's a, it's weeks and weeks and weeks of a cleanup process, you know? But yeah, uh, that happened, I believe, in 2018, I think. 2018. That was when, and the funny thing is, is that that snowstorm, that happened on Valentine's Day. <laughs> I believe. I believe it was Valentine's Day weekend or something, and that storm hit. We were like, what the hell? It's Valentine's. How what what can we do? <laughs> Valentine's is, I mean, technically it is still winter season, but like it's still it was still very unusual for us to have such a heavy storm on Valentine's. <sighs> Alright, that's all I wanted. I wanted to go one level down.
Yeah, pine trees. Pine trees, we definitely have. They're, they're obnoxious. Well, I love the trees to death, but God, like one of them died this year. And so they one of them had to be cut down. Um, but my lord. My lord, the sap, the sap, that drives me nuts. That drives me nuts. Have a good one, Michelle. Have a good one. Good luck at the dentist. The disaster that often happens in my town is crocodile attacks and the flash flooding. We got some uh, fish sticks we can sell. Uh, Michael's craft store was considered essential. I think the only reason why Michael's craft store and those crafting stores were ever considered essential is because... Um, hello, Lena. Is because they technically sold food and they technically s sell drinks. I think that's how some of those companies got away with it. Because when you go to like the checkout line, you can see, uh, you know, you can see obviously um, uh, like candy bars and drinks and whatnot. Hang on a second. My eye is just killing me. It, is the felt, is the incantation the book? Or is the incantation coming soon or later? The incant. Do we need to go to the coven for the in incantation? Maybe I need to go to the coven. It was in the book, right? The book? Right? It's not the book. No? Just to double check. It's not the book. Okay, it's not the book. Do I have to take the levitating spell? We know that the broom. She's acknowledged the broom, though. It was Grandma's broom. I guess it's my broom now, right? What the hell? Hello again. Oh, uh, I was hoping you'd be out. I uh, uh, found some of your grandmother's papers inside my workshop. They must have gotten dislodged from the journal she had me fix up. You know, you look sort of like someone I... <laughs> yes. Uh, well, all of us look like other people, statistically. Anyway, scribbled on one sheet is a list of ingredients for some ritual item. Very strange. Yes, very. Well, I'm off. Lots of books to sell. Lovely chatting. Hey, Essence. Is charm, fealty to the fair folk. <gasps> this must be it. Felty incantation. Very good. So now we have the felty incantation. I don't know how I triggered that cutscene, but I did. Uh, so that's good. How you doing, Essence? Loving this game and videos on it. Very good. Thank you, Essence. Uh, felty to the fair folk. Right. Okay. Let's go. Um, let's go here. Felty. What do we need? Amethyst. Okay. Amethyst. That's not bad. We can get amethyst. Let's go get Amethyst after we water plants. Hello, chicken. Chicken bok bok. I know people were like, you should probably have more than one animal. And I agree. But not yet. Your store was the smallest, so it didn't have much food and drink wise. Well, didn't have much or didn't have any at all. Doesn't matter if it has a little amount. It's still technically food and it still technically drinks. And that is an essential, which is so weird. I know it's absolutely weird. I don't I'm not I don't like agree with it or anything. Uh, but there was during the time with the whole like essential things. That's kind of like a loophole. Right? It's a loophole, right? We gotta get more strawberries, no? If a store sells candy bars and, and soda, barely, uh, it still shouldn't be considered essential, but, you know, I don't make the rules here.
One thing that always drove me nuts, and this is such a petty thing, dude. It's one of the most pettiest things of all time. So during the times our power goes out, people have generators around the neighborhood, right? People have generators. And there has been multiple times where people complain complain and like write a complaint out and call the police because the generator is too loud they say hey can you turn your generator off at 9 p.m like we're all in the same boat and you want me to turn off my generator at 9 p.m because it's too loud for you Are you just jealous that I have a generator? Like, what? What? I don't understand. So, like, uh, for me, for an example, our generator was a Honda generator, and it was actually super quiet. So we never got the complaint. It was more or less our neighbors' neighbors got complaints because they were like, it's so loud. And I'm like, that is so weird to complain about as we're all sitting here with no power, especially, you know, Given that, I don't know, maybe some people need power to rely on for, I don't know, keeping a refrigerator on so that their insulin can go into the fridge. Stay cool. Or, I don't know, maybe a oxygen machine. God, it's like, why do you have to complain about that? We're all in this together. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I kind of laugh at the, those people that just like are really uh, right. All right, whatever, <laughs> whatever, whatever. How does Bella do through the storms? Oh, she does wonderful. She does absolutely wonderful. She has enough fat, enough fur on her to keep her warm. She keeps me warm during the storms. Mercy, on the other hand, she does not do good. She does not do good. Um, yeah. <laughs> she got no fur on her, and she's scared of everything. I'm going to go down lower here to six. I'm going to go to six. I'm going to try to... How much energy is this? I'm going to try to get this amethyst, because I think I should go lower to get a better chance at getting the amethyst. Let's go here. Oh, wait, what the heck? Maybe this isn't the right? Maybe one more down? Is it seven? Where's the gems at? Is it seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve? Maybe lower? This is seven. Maybe it's eight? Hey, Samuel. Sa Samuel. Sam I? Sam Samuel? The mile, some mile, maybe. Hey, Montana. Montana says I worked at Harbor Freight during the pandemic, and we were considered essential just because we had eight foot section of plumbing stuff. Did you have food as well at Harbor Freight? <laughs> plumbing stuff during a pandemic. I don't know. I mean, unless people like. I mean, to be fair, though, I guess. Um, uh, more people are at home, more issues with plumbing, more people not uh, using uh, their sewage systems correctly. Isn't that weird? People still incorrectly use their sewage systems. More issues at home because more usage of, on appliances and things like that. 9 through 12. Okay, 9 through 12. Good shout, Art Vandalay. I think this is 9. Is this 9? This is 9. Looking for the amethyst. There's one. We need three. <clears throat> one thing I learned, especially working in a hospital, uh, con contact center is that people are very self-centered. People can be self-centered. I think they choose to be. I think it's a choice.
It's just amazing how self-centered people can be. I know, right? I just don't get it. I don't get it. It's like nobody else exists and nobody else is going through the struggles like you are. We all are in it. We're all going through the struggles. Even if we're not talking about, you know, other things like weather and whatnot. If, like, economically, we're all going through some struggles. Everybody. Around the world. We're in it together, but sometimes people think it's just them when it's not the case and they like to take it out on everybody else around them because they think everybody else is living this uh this this peachy lifestyle which to be fair there are some that are but you know still i use i'm gonna use chocolate cake chocolate cupcake give me my amethyst Luckily, if we have another cold spell and power goes out, we have a fireplace this time. Oh, that's very good. My mom has a fireplace, and, and during the winter, she she gets the fireplace going. It's always nice to have a fireplace, a natural fireplace, not the, like, turn on the light switch fireplace. <laughs> not, like, flip of the switch fireplace, but, like, a natural fireplace. It's always so fun, especially during Christmas and things like that. Yeah, no food, really. There's no food at Harbor Freight? Huh. I did not know that. No, no, no checkout. No checkout candies or anything, no? Harbor Freight's a pretty cool place. It is a pretty cool place, though, I will say. There we go. There's our third amethyst. Fantastic. We got it. Now we can make the uh, incantation. Incantation, please. And thank you. Probably need plumbing stuff more because of flushing all the toilet paper they panicked about. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if somebody's, like, house went... If your plumbing went out, right? I, I mean, if your plumbing went out, I mean, that still is... That could be an issue. Uh, if your house starts to flood for an appliance, uh, you know, appliance or, like, you know, your, your whatever broke... That can be that can be a big issue. That can really damage your house and really destroy your house. But I think people that have gone through stuff like that, where their plumbing has gone out or like, uh, you know, things of that nature, probably understand. Some of us that have never had plumbing issues or never had um, their house flood because, you know, the toilet is overgoing or or the kitchen sink pipe broke because of weather. Because that does happen, you know, your your pipes might have freeze, you know, your pipes might freeze or they might burst or a tree, a tree, the roots go in and crack the pipes, you know, things like that. It can happen. <laughs> yeah, and plot twist, uh, never uh, a crisis where people are not self-centered. It takes special people. Let's just say that it takes people. You, you definitely have to uh, be in the situation. You'll see actually how you react, right? It's easy to talk about now being like not about all about you and your family. But until that time comes and like you're in the middle of it, I guess uh, I guess that's the real testament, right? <laughs> Hey, David. David says, love uh, watch, uh, love to watch the streams. Keep up the good work. Thank you, David. Appreciate it. Thank you. Hope you're doing good. Hey, Pam Pam. Hey, Skylar. How you doing, Skylar? Loving the King of Retail series? Oh, very good. Appreciate that. Your dad made a fire pit in the backyard, so we'll do some some fi uh, some fires. That's that sounds fun. Nice little hangout, right? Nope, incantation, incantation. Sorry, incantation. This should be good, right? Felty to the fair folk spell. 
recite the incantation to swear fealty to the fair folk, allowing access to their world. So forever we need to have this, and forever we need amethysts. Interesting. Is that right? Do we have to give this this? So cast it, and then go onto the boat? Okay, here we go. I guess casting and going onto the boat. Let's pet the cat before we do that. So what is Hoko about? We're going to find that out later today. Yeah. Um, there we go. Oh, do you have to do it when we're on the boat, I guess? There we go. Here goes nothing. That is cool. That is awesome. Right? Uh, she didn't get wet, by the way. Right through the waterfall. Look at this place. In actual credible. Tara, you've returned. Oh, I knew you could do it. And I knew I'd seen you somewhere before. Uh, I live in milk water, my foot. Wesley is definitely the beast. Huh. And look, the wildling. Look at that. Ah, Tara. Do you have the customary charm? Oh, ah, uh, here it is. I want to know people's names. So what does this do, anyway? Oh, if you break the charm, it reveals your location. A <laughs> fascinating little gadget. And if you ever endanger our secrecy here, we will know exactly where to find you. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at that. Where am I exactly? Oh, where are our manners? Yes, you're in Ravenwood Hollow, our hidden little home. You already know me as a human, but under the moon, I take a slightly more wolfish form. You may call me Perry. I'm a fairy, and I run the apothecary. <laughs> what? It's not even that funny. We've met, of course. <laughs> oh, but not formally. That's Zephyr? I'm Zephyr of the Grimspark Goblins. I'm Ariel. I would like you more if you were scaly or furry or had wings, but you'll do. Wow. I've never seen this place on a map of Fairhaven. Technically, we're not in Fairhaven. This place exists between a point in the human world, that's Fairhaven, and a point in the Fey world, the gloaming. Don't tell me. Another place everyone failed to mention. Come speak with me later. There are things about the Fey world you must know. So you are the Fey? Yes, and we don't let Harry. any into our home. Not even all witches. But you brought me here during... She's gorgeous. Festival. Actually, we haven't been able to untie that particular knot. What Zephyr means is none of us brought you here. We still don't know how it happened. Great. Love that there's a unsolved mystery centering around me being flung through space-time. Ooh. <laughs> spicy. Yo, he Just uses spicy. Like your grandmother. Now that you've been formally received into Ravenwood Hollow, you can come and go as you like. Just remember, never reveal our existence to anyone. She's she's she, I like she looks really good. Um, a ship seldom seen. This place, okay, this place is obviously fantastic looking. This place gives me the biggest Fable vibes ever. I'm feeling Fable here, um, which is one of my favorite series. I love Fable. I'm super excited for the brand new Fable to come out eventually. Just don't screw it up, please. Uh, but I'm super excited for the new Fable coming out. But my God, I'm getting Fable vibes here. Bulletin. Uh, feathers, whiskey in the moonlight, stargazing. Now, what does this give us? It gives us gold. Okay. We'll give, we'll, we'll, we'll do one of these. Yeah. Wow. Look at this place. We have a lot to just do explore. This is amazing. Hello, my good man. Look at this. This is awesome. Absolutely awesome. I have this for you. Thank you for the money. <laughs> Delightful. Thank you. Whoa. <laughs> you may stare. I have wondrous ankles. <laughs> this is my watch post. I keep a lookout for wild animals who may be wounded or otherwise in danger. That's awesome. Me if you ever want to learn how to commune with all of nature's creatures. Very cool. 
Uh, B. Jellin says, uh, Hoko's being delivered today. Can't wait to check it out. Also, I got my email that my Steam Deck shipped so I can finally play Dinkum as soon as that's delivered. Oh, that's very good. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yes, you can finally play some Dinkum. That's going to be exciting stuff right there. Very cool. And cheers to you and your Steam Deck. Looks like the Steam Decks are going to be going out a little bit faster now because they are ahead of schedule on their production, which is good to see. These little houses are adorable. Can I move here instead? Like, look at this. This, look at the window. This looks amazing. Love this a lot. Hello. You've never been in a real apothecary, have you? No. This isn't some pharmacy run by mortal doctors. Careful what you touch. I work with sensitive ingredients. I will. Promise. By the way, what exactly are you, Perry? A pixie? I am a fairy. <laughs> to call me diminutive is an insult. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. I have a lot to learn about Ravenwood Hollow. <laughs> now that is a fact. Oh, if you ever need potion supplies, come visit me. My ingredients are the finest in Ravenwood Hollow. I will. Hi, Mike. Mika, 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 Mika Don. I love this so much. This game keeps just getting better. I, right, right, it does. The first fable was the one, uh, it was one of the best for me, in my opinion. F the first fable was good. First fable was excellent. My favorite, probably not, but I would say very good. It, it I would go fable two and then fable one. It's, it, yeah, but fable one is very good. Absolutely. What do you got? Forget me knots. So you sell forget me knots in rose water. You get to spray the rose water spray on your face. Any uh, Anybody know what I'm talking about? So we could sell potions, I guess. Potions. Cool, okay. All right, I get it. Oh, look at this. Love the details. The, the details in this game. That's where it shines, right? The, the, the decorations and things like that. Hello, Wesley. And your books. Wesley and your books. So, were you born in Ravenwood Hollow? Not at all. I grew up in a tiny town in Alaska. Mm. And my parents are decidedly human. The story of how I ended up here is quite complicated. Very well. What do you sell? The Summon Night Spell Recipe or Parchment. Oh, there's Parchment. Can I get... I don't want to buy it. I just want to read it. Can I read it? I'm afraid if I click on it, I'm going to buy it. I guess summon the night spell means just sum summoning the night. <laughs> Wind spell, day spell, um, small things last longer spell, and speed boost last longer spell. Okay, that's kind of cool. We can sell them the freeze time, which I'm actually tempted to do because I don't see myself using the freeze time anytime soon. Uh, but we'll hold on to it. Uh, Mimito, Mimito says, uh, hey, it always makes me happy to turn on YouTube and catch you live. Well, it makes me happy when you're here. Good to see it. Oh gosh, I just love meeting new witches who grew up outside Fairhaven. You must have so many stories about the city. People keep thinking that, but my life has been a thousand times more exciting since moving here. Nice. Zephyr. I love Zephyr's little little thing here. Whoa, right up the ladder you go. So cool. So so cool. When is the next din live dinkum? Uh whenever they decide to drop the update. That's when the next uh, Dinkum is. We'll bring Dinkum back when the uh, update comes back. This has been an incredible place, I tell you what. Incredible place. See you at Tech Gaming. Have a good one. Never played Fable, but uh, check it out. Yeah, it's a, it's a very good RPG game. Very good RPG game that... Fable 1, I believe, came out in, um, Rick, I don't even know when it came out. 2005? Maybe? Oh, I love that instant. There's not, like, an additional cutscene for that. It's just get, get it done, right? Very good. So that's incredible. We know about that now. Very, very happy to see that. Very, very cool. Um, I'm going to see if I can buy another tree, maybe, from Kai to kind of round us out, maybe. I don't know. I don't know which direction to go here. I mean, we do want to get the silkworms, but the silkworms are going to take a, some some time for sure. Let's see here. 
Uh, oh, we should go to the coven tonight. Yeah, we should go to the coven tonight. Parker, how are you? You look sad. Oh my god. What's up, Parker? He's sad? Yeah. Well, yesterday was the summer block party in my old neighborhood. Most years I go back to the city for it, but I have too many projects right now. I had Emmy and Finn help me flip burgers and make punch, but it wasn't the same. Hey Raymond Pringle, how you doing? Hey, for how had had you do? Can you stop? Uh, hey, hey, for how had how can you stop going bankrupt in King of Retail? Uh, that's a very <laughs> very uh complicated question. Uh, that I I can't answer in a uh, in a in a in a sentence. I don't think. I suggest the first or second one. Yeah, if you're playing Fable, you might as well play it one, two, and three. You were such a charming summertime but, star. I hope you can forgive Sophia for putting you on the spot like that. I oh. know Hazel would have been so proud of you. Um, I think all the Fables are on Game Pass right now still. But Fable 3, I agree, was meh. I, I didn't enjoy Fable 3 at all. <laughs> I didn't enjoy it that much. Like I think them a few days ago. It has a very charming art style. It does. It's like a claymation type thing, right? Oh, dang it. Might as well go back. I was going to go check the beach. I'll check the beach. Maybe, maybe not. I'll check the beach real quick for some forageable items. And then I'll come back to the coven. Remind you of Animal Crossing? Yeah. I promised my nephew I would not, wa oh, I would not watch Dinkum without him. So we are behind. Now he's back in school. Oh, but it's okay, Raymond. It's all good. There we go. Grab a couple of these. Because we have not been here in a while. Look at that. You can definitely tell with how much stuff is out here, right? Hello, Marty. How are you, Marty? Parker and Lena's twins have real entrepreneurial spirit. Of course, they're spirited in general. Sometimes, too much. Too much? How can you be too much? How can you have too much spirit in something? Uh, quick answer. Y you just can't. <laughs> y you, you can't just have too much spirit into something. <clears throat> oh. Hey, Ellie. How you doing, Ellie? Ellie says, I tried to play Dinkum and Wildflowers this. Sorry? What? My internet went out and I didn't mean to send that so early. <laughs> Alright, let's see the coven. Go check them out. We should reveal Damon now, right? There we go. <clears throat> Alrighty. Do this. Let's go. Where you at, Damon? I'm coming for you, buddy. I am. I'm coming for you. Here you go. Let's go. Pop it out. There you go. How are you both here and at the bar most nights? Great question. It's called a broom, Tara. Great question. Yeah, but less chatting, more witching. You're gonna get us in trouble with the boss lady. That was such a way for the developers to be like, kind of answer that, right? I the excuse, though, was like, uh, but like, I like how the developers went in and uh, actually answered that question. Now, this is Violet, I'm pretty sure, right? Oh, it's my turn. Yes. Yeah, it is. I can't believe they made me wait until second to last. I hate secrets. But the coven itself is one big secret. Yeah, but it's one we keep together. So that's more fun. There's still friction with the normies, though. And since Otto was elected, it's gotten worse. So... Enter the charm potion. Are you serious? I asked Grandma if we could use the charm potion to smooth things over between the coven and the town last spring. And she said no. Well, yeah, dingus. You don't want to charm an entire town. Not only would that take forever, but it's a surefire way to make people go, huh, maybe one of my neighbors is a witch. One person at a time, though, less of a problem. Got it. She called us a dingus? What charm potion coming up. Charm potion. So make a charm potion as part of your quest to unlock the 
Ocelite, Acolyte, Acolyte Identity. We already know who that is. Charming Potion can now be crafted at your cauldron. Very cool. Yeah, that's definitely Violet. I had to restart my Dinkum save recently because I had a glitch where the farmer, whose name I forgot just now, uh, I think John? Talk about the farmer, John? John? Was it the farm? Well, farmer. 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 General store guy, John? Would not open... Uh, her store no matter what. Okay, her? Her store? Uh, oh, uh, Rain. The farmer. The crop seller. Rain, I believe. That's a terrible glitch, by the way. <laughs> That's a terrible glitch. Ellie says, I was trying to say that I tried to play Dinkum in Wildflowers this week, but I was so sleepy after work that I fell asleep while playing both. Oh, man. Oh, perfect. Charming. Eight hours. It'll take eight hours to craft the uh, potion of love. And that fits Violet, I think, 100%. 100% it fits Violet. That's good. Let's see what we got going on here. Ah, yes. Our brew. Ready to go. And also, another thing with this beer here is that even with the beer, and look, people might be thinking, hey, you got to go and, uh, you know, give a blessing to the, uh, to the... To the which of my jiggers the the uh the, the cauldron N not exactly i can just take a hit of beer here my energy will go up and my magic will go up too so yeah alcohol i think <laughs> makes our magic go up what? might be the same for real life too you never know The, wit the doctor is a witch. What a shock. I know, right? The witch doctor. <laughs> I know they are completely different games, but if I can only purchase one, should I get Dinkum or Wildflowers? Uh, that's a tough one. Um, I'll, I'll give you my two cents on this. One of the games is cheaper than the other. That's the first thing I will point out. Second... You will probably get more hours and more replayability out of Dinkum than Wildflowers. I believe Wildflowers is truly a once playthrough experience with the story. Uh, you don't get much of a difference. It's a very linear story. You'll get one one time and you'll play it again and it will be the same story, right? Um, Dinkum is in early access as Wildflowers is not in early access. So there's so much more growth and potential that you could get from Dinkum. And Dinkum is the one that's cheaper than Wildflowers. So maybe that helps, gives you a little bit of a, uh, idea of which direction maybe to go. It depends. It just depends on your, what you like more. <sighs> Time for bed. Are we supposed to give the charm potions to everyone at town at some point? <laughs> I wonder. Make them all like us. Let's see here. Uh, this will answer the question. Yeah, so it looks like when you take beer, when you have beer, the beer looks like it decreases your energy. So let's test it out. So we have full energy, a uh, little bit of spec missing on our, on our magic here. We drink a beer. What the hell are you doing, Tara? It's 7 in the morning. I know, right? So energy goes down. Magic goes up there. Oh my god, what do you want? Morning, Tara. Any chance your grandma may have passed down any folk remedies for ailing cattle? No, why? Is one of your cows sick? Well, that's the thing, I just don't know. She's not producing milk, but Dr. Syed checked and said she doesn't seem to have an infection. I may have forgotten to feed her once, or twice. The animals get sick if you forget to feed them? Apparently! And I can't get a vet to come in from off-island for at least another week or so. I just wish someone in Fairhaven really knew animals. Let me know if you think of anything. Okay, Marty. I know someone. The rancher that doesn't know anything about animals? Right. Speak to Ar Ariel to see if he can help with Marty's sick cow. Uh, which means I have to make another spell to go there. Does, is that what that means? I need to make another speed boost spell. That's what I need to do. Alcohol does make dancers out of us. Why not 
make us magical too you know what the alcohol that makes the dancing out of us that is the magic baby that is the magic right there isn't it most of the people that uh that might have some alcohol uh might not tend to dance in public until you get a couple of drinks in then guess what you're loosey-goosey on the dance floor and you have no shame in your game right absolutely we've seen it <laughs> that is magic baby <laughs> Yeah, I think uh, for Dinkum, Dinkum was probably one of the easiest games to hit 120 hours in for me personally. I will probably never hit 120 hours in um, in uh, in uh, Wildflowers. Plus, Dinkum, you can play with your friends or family. You know, if you have uh, co-op and they have the game too, they can play with you. So that's even better. Uh speak to okay let me see her hit the speed boost let me hit it the time for walking slow has passed lighten my feet and make me fast hey hannah hannah says i just finished the whole main story of wildflowers definitely have more play on dinkum uh with this one but i still very much like the story yeah if you're definitely into story games uh instead of like dinkum because dinkum is obviously not a story Dinkum is more of a story that you create. This is obviously a story that's built for you. Um, yeah, it just depends, right? It depends on what you like. Oh, oh, Amira, what are you doing here? I must say, you were the most captivating summertide star I've ever seen. I love your shoes, by Stop. the way. Stop! You were gonna make me blush. <laughs> oh, and that only makes you more charming, doesn't it? Oh, you, the light devil. All right, all right, all right. Spicy indeed. Spicy, spicy, spicy. Hello. Uh, hang on a sec. Actually, hang on. Time out. Um, Ario, Ario, Ario. That's not Ario, right? I forgot their names already. Ario. That's Perry. Ario is here, right? In this area, right? That's where Ario is. Pretty sure. Right? Ario. Yeah, up here. He. Right? I don't know, actually, personally. Let's just put... That. Them. This person. This... Ariel, do I don't know. know any I'm lost. To cure sick animals? Mm, I might. Who's it for? A big Ario. Creature? No, a farm animal. Ah. Perhaps freedom will cure what ails her? But the magnificent bovine does not deserve to suffer due to her owner's neglect. Gather some coconuts from the beach. Make this potion. That should set her right. Oh, and you'll need this. I'll give it to you this one time. But in the future, you can buy more from me. Although, I do hope you take animals hair? well enough that you won't need it. Cure animal sickness potion. So the game is actually kind of teaching you, like, here's an animal sickness potion in case your animals get sick when you do end up building the barn, I guess, right? Kind of helping in that regard, too. I mean, yes, we're doing something for Marty, but <clears throat> you can see where it, it kind of connects there. I love the fact that you don't need another spell to go back to the, uh, to, to the other place. Uh, let's go... Oh, chicken, I forgot to say hi to you, chicken. Have a good one, Serendipity, and thank you for hanging out with us. I appreciate it. That, they would be the word, I think. <laughs> hey, Pixie, how you doing? Finally caught alive and love the look of this game. The voice acting is too fun. It is. The voice acting is really fun, right? Absolutely. Hope you're doing well. Hey, Leslie, how you doing? Let's go uh, sugar cane. Water. <laughs> hey, Adi, how you doing? I got to talk to Violet today. And I got to do it before 5 p.m. It's already 12.
Mika's looking, uh, sorry, not Mika's looking better and better. Well, actually, Mika might be looking better and better. But uh, uh, Amira is looking better and better. She would understand the magic and mystical side of Tara. That's true. Very true. Hey, Leslie. Thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate that. Thank you very much, Leslie. That was very kind of you. Hope you're doing good. Thank you for that. Oh, this way. Hello. You are it, girl. I know it's you. Am I sure this is the Acolyte Witch? I'm damn... I'll have to make another potion and explain myself if I'm wrong. She is all... She almost gives it away as much as Shelby does. Here you go. Violet. Oh. Yes, you figured it out. What gave me away? Your well, sass. You're one of us. I know it's a bit intimidating being the newest member, but I can already tell you're going to do great. Well, charmed, I'm sure. Very well. The old rancher, the guy who left ages ago, was super chill. He let me adopt one of his goats. I named her Pedro. <laughs> On the weekends, I'd feed her and play with her and stuff. Marty doesn't strike me as the kind of guy who'd let the kids do that. Right, I was just hoping that you were voting for Pedro also on the weekends, but that's just me. The game feels like a soap opera sometimes. I think that's the best part of it, though. I, I do. I do think that's, like, the best part of it. I'm so in it. I'm, like, in it for what's going on. I'm in it for the backstory. I'm in it for the characters. I'm in it for the relationships. I think that's very, very, very strong in this game. Hello, Shelby. Actually, you know what? Before we do the coven tonight, let's go to, uh, hopefully we can get this potion done for the curing of the animals and maybe deliver that to Marty real quick. Maybe talk to Kai real quick as well to see if there's any trees that I can get. Hey, Christy, how you doing? Yeah, Damon does get both sides of Tyra as well, too. Now, I wonder if, uh, Giva has anything to do with that. Like, if she's into the witchy, or if she's even a part of it at all. Or she just has no idea. So, we have lemon, mulberry. We don't have an orange, or we don't have a lime. I'm going to buy an orange tree. There we go. Thank you, guy. I'm not going to go in there. I'm not even going to start a conversation. Because I don't have enough time to do it. Burak says, first time catching you live. Love your content. It's relaxing and enjoyable. Sipping some tea after a long work day and watching this makes me feel better. Oh, very good. Very good. Good to see you, Burak. Hopefully I said your name correctly, but it's good to see you. Um, Yeah, potion under, under, under the basement. Yeah, under the basement. What do I need for this? Coconut, seaweed, and hair to make this. Interesting. And how long would that take? Six hours. Okay, cool. The fact that we are having everything is good. So, dear Tara, I wanted to invite you to the grief support group that I run. Violet, Sebastian, and Juliet come sometimes, too. Uh, we would all love to see you at the next meeting. It's very casual. Just bring something to eat or drink and let me know when you're ready. Sincerely, Vanessa. That's sweet. What should I bring? Maybe berry smoothies? That would be sick. Three berry smoothies? Let's do it. What do I need? Blueberries. Wait, I need blueberries? Blueberries. Blueberries. Okay, blueberries. I know where to get blueberries. Easy. We know where to get blueberries. Right down here. Kai reminds me of Ariel. I can't... I have a hard time pronouncing that name. Ar Ariel? Ariel? Not Ariel. Ariel? Ariel? I have uh, such a hard time. That's that's one name that's giving me giving me a fit there. Blueberries. <laughs> All right, Ainworth. Hope you have a good one. Indeed. Yeah, Arl, Iyer, Iyerl, F me. That's all I got. That's all I got. Oh, there's Giva. 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 Yes, I'm gonna get your silk stuff done soon. That summer festival was so lovely. It was. And you were the perfect summertime star. I was. I might be slightly biased since you helped me move here. You are. Love you though. <laughs> uh. 
I want to know. I want to hang on a sec. The crystal ball. We need the potion, right? If we want to like get into Giva. No. Hmm. Oh, I think I see something. She loves Pav Bahi. How many times can I do that? Hmm. Oh, I think I see something. Prawns oily water. Wait a sec. Is this a potion thing that I'm doing here? Crystal ball potion, one of them. Wait, can I do this as many as I want? Many times as I many times I want. Hmm. What the heck is that? Oh, chai. Yeah. It's empty. I'll need to brew some crystal ball potion in the cauldron. Ah, I see. Got it. Okay, I understand. Got it. Got it. Got it. Cool. 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 Right. All right. Let's go to Coven. Has anyone else been tricked by their pet? My dog Gizmo was wanting to go outside, acting uh, like he needs to run and get the zoomies out. I let him out and he just casually lays down and sunbathes. Yeah, I, Bella tricks me all the time. She's like, I need to go outside and go to the bathroom. And then she just goes outside and just lays in the sun. It's cute, but also irritating. But it's not, I, I sometimes what I'll do is I'll just open up the door and I'll just sit out there with them. As they like lay in the sun until they're ready. I think they get a, a little too hot and they're like, okay, we're ready to come back inside. And then they just come back inside. You have done well and proven yourself worthy of our trust. We have to be careful as there are those that would do us harm. Why? The coven doesn't hurt anyone. The word witch conjures up old stereotypes and superstitions in people's minds. Facts. They panic when faced with something they don't understand. That's why we keep our identities a secret. Our friends and family might not accept us if they knew the truth. Give them a chance? But don't you think you should give them the chance to understand? I wish it was that easy. So I think you suspect who I am. Write this speed up incantation. When you cast it, any crops or cauldrons nearby will grow or brew faster. Bring it to me in town when it's ready. Okay, I'll make it speedy. Get it. Run along, novice. So make a speed time incantation as part of your quest to unlock the high priestess identity. Speed time one. Okay, very well. Speed time. Got it. We already do. No, we haven't uncovered Violet yet. Uncover her first. One time, I messed up my proportions when I was making a big vat of miracle grow. I tested it on a mushroom and it exploded to like... 10 times its original size. Oh. What did you do? I stuffed the mushroom in my bag and took it home, duh. Fresh produce is expensive. <laughs> Fresh produce is expensive. Yeah. Uh, Pixie, uh, answer to that is, um, yes, uh, Danielle and I are actually playing uh, Disney Dreamlight Valley. Uh, I'm not bringing it to the channel or anything like that, but uh, we've been enjoying it offline together. Uh, there is coming to a point, even I see it in the Discord, where... Um, uh, little bit of issues when it comes to the Pixar Fest and how uh, people are now starting to have to use real currency. And I don't know if people are noticing that they're using real currency uh, with Moonstones. Uh, so anytime you use Moonstones, you have to think of it as you are actually using uh, money, dollars, uh, real currency. Because then once the game comes out and they do more events like that, in order to do that again, you're going to have to spend real money again for the moonstones so the moonstones are like the real life currency uh people might realize that and some people have but some people might not even be thinking about that and haven't realized that either and i believe you can uh you can earn your um 10 minutes you can earn your moonstones but uh, it's also a premium currency as well grab that uh let's see your speed time a topaz okay we can do a topaz topaz indeed Okay, so that's good. So that's going. We have that for Marty. Good grief. We should be able to make our smoothies now, yeah? Three of them. Perfect. Three berry smoothies. That's done. And then, yeah, speed time. Topaz. We just need to get Topaz. Am I ready for we'll go to the, we'll go to the uh, Witch of Majigger in the morning. 
the nerve of him. I want to sit inside with the AC. <laughs> what was Danielle's reaction when you told her about one of the characters reminding you of her? I haven't told her yet. I have forgotten to do that. I want to tell her, like, on the live stream. If she's, like, home one of these days and, like, she walks through and be like, hey, and I want to show her Giva and then explain it to her, I think that would be kind of brilliant, no? You know what? This is what I'm going to do. Compost. No, no, not behind. Compost. There we go. I like this setup a lot. It's going. There we go. Pet the kitty cat. Yep, absolutely. We're going to go get some topaz today as well. Oh, such a good cat. Damon is absolutely in love with Violet. In that cutscene, Damon was staring hard at her. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> I, had, I didn't even notice that. Hey, you know, Damon and um Damon and Violet would actually be a pretty good couple, no? I think so. I absolutely think so. Some hops. Put our tree down. Orange tree. There we go. Just like in any other farming game you've ever played, uh, the trees just take a while. <laughs> Lagging won't stop me from keeping up with the stream. F U Wi Fi. There we go. Now let's go for sugar cane. Sugar cane. There we go. I didn't plant my, uh, well, hang on a sec. Did I, did I do that? Did I put a garden bed down? I did. Okay. Yeah. So let's put the marigolds there. And then I need to water the marigolds. I love this setup. I do. It's probably not efficient, but my God, it looks good. Okay. Let's go to Marty now. Tell Marty to, uh, cure his animals and then what we'll do is we'll probably go to the mine get the topaz thing going on yeah natalie and cameron as a couple ah you think so you think natalie and cameron i guess those would two would be if anybody were to be something i guess those two i don't know like it's hard to picture cameron with anybody but I guess if he had to be with someone, I could see that. I don't even know where Marty hangs out at. I don't. I don't know where he hangs out at. Hey, there's Kim. What are you doing? I've never seen you out here, Kim. Oh, she has a quest. Hello. What are you doing out here? Oh, you're fishing. Hey, Kim. Any luck today? It, not yet. I'd come out just to relax, really. I tried to drag my ex out on fishing charters when I lived in the city, but she got terribly seasick the first time and refused to come out on the water again. Oh. Vomit makes good chum. The fairy would have been a problem. Maybe fish guts are gross. Um... She got terribly seasick the first time and refused to come out on the water again. I mean, I get that. Uh, I, I guess the fairy would have been a problem. It's probably for the best you broke up. The fairy would have been a problem. That's exactly it. All right. I've been doing the long distance thing for a little while. But once she realized the fairy would be a regular thing, I think it helped speed up the relationship's demise. It was for the best, though. Things are fine with my ex. We're still friends. She got custody of the cat, <laughs> but I still visit him whenever I'm back in town. No way! You gave up the cat? Eh, I was allergic anyway. There's a stray around here. I feed it fish scraps and pet it sometimes, then I wash my hands like I'm scrubbing into surgery. All the kitty companionship, none of the constant sneezing. It's a win-win. Well, 
Thanks for keeping me company out here. It's nice to have a new friend who's not completely turned off by fish hooks and cut bait. Maybe next time you can tell me your tales of romantic woe. Very cool. I love that. Marty's in the woods. Good shout. Hey, Whirlpool, how you doing? So isn't using magic to find give us favorite kinds of uh, cheating to make make her fall for you? Just thought about it. Yeah, it's 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 absolutely completely cheating. Uh, but I am definitely in, in it. Uh, if I can cheat my way to her, I will cheat my way to her. Damon warned us that giving flowers to someone whose job is working with flowers isn't a good idea. This is where Kans misunderstood Damon, thinking he said he won't give flowers to anyone. Ah, is it for the like for the violet? Yeah. Oh, there's Marty. Look at him. Got your uh, cure right here, buddy. Try giving this to your cow, Marty. Wow. What's in it? A uh, secret wild family recipe. Great answer. Thanks. I'm gonna try this right now. So we have to wait and see if it works for him. Oh, real nice weather, huh? You know, I should snap a pic and text it to dad. You don't have to run off to the Bahamas just to get some sunshine. What? Uh, just, just talking to myself. This guy, th this, this, this actual guy. Go to the graves. What time was it? What day is it? Saturday? Okay, Saturday. Let's go to the graves. Oh, look at Sophia. Oh, Sophia. Is she visiting? Uh, is she visiting? Gra Has this always been here? <gasps> Yo. Look at this. Oh, my God. I got the chills a little bit. Oh, my God. I met Wesley, Grandma. He gave me your journal. I'll keep it safe. I promise. I miss you. Wow. I was gonna say, is Sophia here visiting Grandma? But she's probably visiting Giacomo. Hi, Tara. Oh, hi, Sophia. I didn't mean to interrupt. No, it's fine. I come here whenever I want to tell Giacomo what's been going on with me, with Juliet. Tell me, do you believe the dead can hear us? Um. Wow, what a very, uh, very interesting uh, thing here. Um, Grandma talked to Grandpa. I plan to when I'm a ghost. I focus on life. Uh, I'll go with Grandma talk to Grandpa. I don't know. But one time I heard Grandma talking to Grandpa. It seemed to make her miss him less. Robert was a good man. People here really respected him. Well, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go visit my Grandpa. Of course. Nice seeing you, Tara. Oh, what a what a wonderful uh, little set that was. Very cool, very cool, and it's cool that you can put the the flowers in in the in the tombstone here. And we chose poppies. I don't know what el what else like what other people chose. I wonder if I could put. I wonder if those flowers go away, and I could replace them with like sunflowers or something. That'd be kind of cool, no? Uh, tell Vanessa you have something to bring to the grief group. Okay, so we gotta go talk to Vanessa now. Uh, did you unmask the last person? There's one person that we have not unmasked yet. Hey, James, how's it going? Vanessa, Vanessa. She's usually in the jewelry shop and or in school. It is a Saturday. So she might be... She's not in the forest on a Saturday. She... I don't know. where She might be going to the bar... Sometimes I see her in the bakery shop. Sometimes I see her in the jewelry shop, maybe. She's not in the jewelry shop today. Not really sure where she hangs out, either. The bar she probably will be at eventually tonight. There's Kim. There's Damon. There's a lemonade stand. I love it. Hang on a second. Let me go to the lemonade stand real quick. 
Can you actually? You look thirsty. Okay, I'll buy some lemon. Yeah. We added extra sugar to yours. Thank you for the lemonade. Mom keeps telling us to be careful when we play outside. I think it's because Finn broke his arm on the playground last summer. Jesus. Ooh, oh no, that's terrible. Yeah. You know what's weird? I dreamt it was going to happen the night before it did. I don't think Mom and Dad really believed me. Maybe it's a twin thing. That's what Dr. Syed said when she was setting Finn's arm. Interesting. Hello, Damon. Just when I thought I had the refreshing beverage market cornered, Emmy and Finn went and opened a lemonade stand. Yeah, you got competition, dude. Man, ruthless. You got competition here. Oh, there's Vanessa that just walked by. I got, sorry, Damon. I got to run. <laughs> Maybe when school starts again, I'll do a unit on farm animal biology. And we can visit Marty's calves and chicks. Oh, but then I'll have to cover what happens to those calves and chicks. On second thought, we'll stick to the textbooks. I got your smoothies for you. Wonderful. I'm so glad you've decided to attend. Come by the Consciousness Center any night. Okay, so attend the grief group at the Consciousness Center any night after 7 p.m., which we will do tonight. I'll go to the beach, see if there's anything I can get real quick. Uh, forgeable. I guess we'll go to the, um, to the Consciousness Center at night and see what they all have to talk about. Kind of curious to see what they have to say. Maybe we'll do, do a little bit of fishing. Oh my god, I have so much bait on me now. <laughs> Holy crap. I can do fishing for days. <laughs> gotcha. I love the extra cozy little things here the devs have added to this game. Right? It's pretty good. A good time. It definitely is a good time. If you ever need like a distraction, a peaceful way to distract yourself, this is definitely one of those games. You can definitely get lost in the sauce in this game. For sure. And I feel like I get lost in the sauce quite a bit. I'm gonna get that big fish down there. No, 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 no. Come on now. Send it up. A herring, okay. One more, we'll go for another fish down here, and then we'll head back to the uh, conscious center. Let's do... Yep. Just kind of mixing the baits. I mean, the baits do, I think, catch different kinds of fish and stuff like that, so... I should probably be using this bait, all this bait that I have. I should probably be using it for, like, the mountains and things like that. The river. A whiting or a whiting? All right, let's go. To the conscience center now curious enough i want to see who's going to be here i wonder if we'll be any of the witches since you know it's during the same time as the coven will they be here at the conscious center is cameron you're not at the conscious center tonight well that's i guess a good thing we'll have to see you might feel uh i was disappointed with hoko uh, I'm gonna watch your stream. You might feel differently and love the game. Uh, love the game. I'm curious to see. I've I've heard mixed reviews on it, and I'm curious to see what it's like at uh, full release. Have you played it since full release? Yeah. Like a, what the heck is going on Sarah, here? Sarah, come in, come in. That smoothie looks delicious. Thank Have you. Some of the pie that Juliet brought, and popcorn from Sebastian. Violet, welcome. Thanks. <laughs> Hey, bud. As I was saying, sometimes it can be helpful for us to confront the strength of our emotions. It makes us realize what actions we want to take and what those actions are. So, what did you think? <laughs> it was okay. Uh it all felt kind of cliched, you know? Yeah. But, you know what they say. Sometimes cliches are true. Tonight, I realized I want to do more. About my mom disappearing. Like, maybe I should still be looking for her. I don't know if that's what Vanessa meant. I gotta stop at home before going to the circle. See you soon, Tara. 
I gotta stop at home before going to the circle. So task completed, you've been rewarded with apple pie and three caramel popcorns. Very cool. Interesting. Interesting little little bit there for sure. How do I feel? I don't know. It's like an AA meeting. I, I don't know about a triple A meeting. I think it's an AA meeting. I think triple A might be uh, either have to do with insurance <laughs> or batteries. You know, your your choice. But <laughs> I get what you're saying there. <laughs> Unless that was an autocorrect thing, maybe. We're going to use our energy to get some more wood now. Oh, fuck. <clears throat> hey, George. Lurking and working. Keep up the good work. Thank you, George. Hope you're doing good. Hope you're doing well. I've not played full release. It might have changed a lot. Yeah, I'm curious to see what it's like. I, I, I am, I am, I will be going in that uh, game with, um, with caution, of course. Um, it doesn't mean it's going to be a series, probably. It, it just means we're going to take a look at it and see what it's all about and see how it goes. But uh, yeah, I, I am going in it with a little bit of caution. Dare I do it? No, I'm not going to do it. I think some soil's done too. That's good. So far with like Hoka, Hoko, Hoko is um I've I've seen two things. Either you love it or you hate it. <laughs> that's that's the two things I've seen from people. I haven't found like an in-betweener. Let's see. Okay. Incantation for that. What was this? Topaz. Okay, Topaz. Topaz, Topaz, Topaz. Wait a sec. How much does it cost to do the uh, crystal ball potion again? What is a charming? Drink this potion to become in instantly more charismatic to people you interact with. Wears off when you go to sleep. I, Yeah. Sign me up for that, I guess. So tired. Thank you, Mika. I appreciate that. Thank you. I appreciate that. I knew it was AA, but I second-guessed myself, and I asked my husband if I was right, and he said it was AAA. <laughs> I just don't know what the third A would be. <laughs> what would the third A be? <laughs> From level 11. Thank you, Art Vanda. That's very helpful. Level 11 on the Topaz. Thank you very much for that. We'll do that. Get the chicken going. We've been busy today. We've been busy. I tell you what. Super busy today. We're going to need to get chicken feed soon. I guess, yeah. That's for when you really are really, really addicted, I guess. Advanced. Yeah, that's the advanced one. <laughs> oh, such a pretty girl. All right, <laughs> yeah. let's go ahead and see. <laughs> okay, we could talk to Marty after this too. I'll run in here real quick, see if I can find myself some topaz, and then we'll talk to Marty about how the cure went. Five hour ro hoko hoko stream. It depends. It really depends how how uh, how grasping that game gets me. The game has to the game has to definitely. Uh, of course, I find the amethyst now. Um, the game has to definitely grab me. But we'll have to see. One thing I'm a little bit a little bit nervous of in that game is... Um, I've heard the game really relies on creativity. And that is not where I shine the most. Was it one topaz or was it three topaz? I think it might have been one topaz. I'll double check. You get fish from petting the cat? You do. I think you get like chubs, I think. 
Like bait, I believe. Let's see. Get the love potion. How much was the crystal ball? Essence and red dye. That's not bad. Let's get that rolling. We'll craft that. Is this? It was one. Okay, just one. Okay, crafting we need. Okay, we need magic for that. We'll just take a hit of beer. There we go. Speed time now here. Cool. Got that done. All right, so we can go talk to Marty. Yeah, let's go talk to Marty now. I think the universe eights playing a trick on me. First my Wi-Fi, and now I barely hear the stream because of a heavy downpour. You're just getting it. Marty, how did it do? You know what? I think it worked because look at your cow. Your cow's not frozen. <laughs> your cow's doing his thing. That medicine you gave me worked a miracle. Yeah. Mona Lisa is back in action. Just look at this fresh milk. Oh, and here. You should have this for your trouble too. Happy to help. Honey? Oh, milk. Very cool. $250 and milk. Awesome. Yeah, you're right about that, Fit Rad. You are right about that. So that took all of our energy out. Uh, so now we have to do, hang on a sec. Well, that, that thing did it do, but give the speed time to the high priestess during daytime. Okay. Daytime. We got to run over there, right? During the daytime. So who is the high priestess? I honestly do not know who the high priestess is. I can't think of who it could be. Maybe Vanessa, maybe Lena. So if anybody knows who the high priestess is. I am willing to um, to take take it right here. So if you know who the high priestess is, so I can go uh, talk to them, please let me know now. I'm gonna take a charming potion, and we're gonna talk to some people also. Hello, Kim. For ten year olds, she's on the beach. Know how to make a good pitcher of lemonade? Well, someone gave them homemade sugar. Oh, maybe I should partner with them. Offer a hemony vertical and lemonade special. So it's Lena. That's what. Okay. So that, that's what. I, that's what I was figuring. It was either Lena, or, Lena or Vanessa. Vanessa couldn't be it because, like, you know, she can't be like muddling in that with the with the mayor. So it is Lena. And I'm glad that it's Lena. First of all, let's talk to Lena first. So hot, the kids have even expressed an interest in joining Parker when he goes to the consciousness center. Cameron's got his AC blasting at all times, of course. Am I sure this is the High Priestess? I'm sure. Oh, wow. Well done. Thank you, Nox. Good job. You should Good hold job, on everybody. This, though. Wait. This really means... Shh. Someone might be listening. But, Lena, you're one of the most respected members in this community. I'm sure if you just told... They're not ready. Not yet. On the bench, not the beach. Which witch? Hooray! So increase magic spell and incantation to permanently increase your magic bar. So that goes up now, right? Like our energy, right? Storms that make the river sing. Fill my magic from the spring. You know what's funny about all this? We just discussed that, did all that, pulled out the wand and all that in front of Kai and the children. They did not bat an eye. They did not bat an eye. Whoa, whoa, Tara. <laughs> I didn't see you there. I, I was just, uh... Are you sleeping? Job? I call it being one with the moment. It's just super warm and cozy under the tent. Right. No. Uh... Pomegranate tree is something we don't have yet either. We can get a pomegranate tree going. I kind of want to. Get all the trees rolling. So we'll buy a pomegranate tree. Let's talk to Sophia. We want to talk to as many people as we want today, or as many people as we can today, because of the I love potion or charm potion. Superstition, but Vanessa got married the year she was the Summertide Star. Oh, oh. Vanessa was the Summertide Star? Of yes. Of course. Five years ago, right after she moved here from Milkwater to work on Otto's campaign. But I think the Summer Festival is when she really caught his eye. Maybe you'll have similar luck. Uh, what? No, Sophia. I don't want that luck. Damon. Ooh, that new onsen is just the thing for soothing my sore back. 
No one tells you that owning a bar is like 90% hauling bags of ice. <laughs> That's one way to put it. Dun, 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 dun. I know, but who didn't want to just ruin the fun of figuring out for everyone? I know, right? They did not bat an eye because they were not yet. They were not ready. Not yet, at least. I want to go find Giva real quick. Let me go find Giva. Because I need a doctor since I have this potion going. It's only going to last for today and today only. Plus, we haven't done a little bit of forging out here yet. Hey, Ginger. How you doing? Ginger Guppy. Oh, look at it. We haven't seen it since it's been built. Oh, fantastic. Hmm. How long should I soak for? Oh, very cool. Wait, I'm kind of curious. I I don't want to waste time yet because I'm I am on a time constraint right now, but like um time constraint in the game with this love potion, but I want to see the animation for that. If there is an animation, hopefully there is an animation. Any um pick that up. Mint. Any uh kind of like game, you know, farming game we've ever played? Well, I say we, but maybe that you have ever played just about, right? They do have an animation for like the hot bath and hot springs, right? For the most part. Most of the farming games do. Speaking of ice, why is why ice in men's bathroom at bars? Wait, what? There's ice in men's bathroom at bars? Is there? I've, I'll be honest with you, never kn knew that. <laughs> oh, hi, Tara. Nice of you to pop by. I don't get many visitors all the way up here. Only Parker seems to really enjoy the hike up the mountain pass, but it's always nice to have a chat with him. Okay, so you have interest in Parker. Stop it. He's married. But he's not liking his marriage, I don't think. <laughs> I think he's very... I don't know. He's, there's Parker. Something going on with him, man. Something's going on with him. I want to dig some of this stuff up, too. I found something. Oh. Oh, a recipe. Really? Yes. This is the recipe that Giva loves. Yes. That was perfect. Heck yeah. Give up. I just found your favorite dish lying in a pile of dirt. Look at me go. Look at me go. Use the potion to go to the Fae? What do I need to make that dish? Holy hell. Right. <laughs> Potatoes? Fennel, cauliflower, chili, coriander, that, yeah, good, but F. <laughs> Did I miss a pile of dirt? Oh, God. Oh, wait, did our tree yet do its thing? Our trees are still going. Still going hard. What, what was that? Wood? Collect the tomatoes. Do a little bit of this, put a little bit of that. We might need to go buy more seeds and things like that. Ginger says, uh, doing well. Uh, finally got IRL stuff done so I can hang for a bit. Oh, very well. Lena and Thomas. And Lena and Thomas. Oops, I should have done that in the middle. This game makes me hungry. Like, this community makes me hungry. <laughs> One more. Put down the pomegranate. Anybody a big pomegranate fan in real life? I used to know, like, in high school, a lot of people, like, it was like... I don't know if it was trendy or whatever, but there were always used to be a lot of girls in high school that would always like have pomegranates in class. 
And they would just be sitting there eating them in class like every day. Like just. Just like. You know. Just eating the seeds and whatnot. Oh, talked about Parker and Giva. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hang on, let's talk to Natalie. Actually, let's go to the coven. Love pomegranates, but expensive and messy. I've never had a pomegranate. I'll be real with you. Isn't that crazy? I've never had a pomegranate. I feel like I'm missing out. Even the girls in high school, me watching them eat, like, I wasn't just like, okay, let me, let me, uh, let me just make it clear. I wasn't just like staring at them during math class, like, wow, look at her eat a pomegranate. I wasn't doing that, but I was always like, why is the deal always eating the pomegranate, right? But, um, I, even watching them eat it, I, I, I never have ever had a pomegranate. I think Danielle has had a pomegranate. I just never have. Here we go. Last person. Hey, look at that. Hi, Priestess Lena. Talk so to you. the head of the Fairhaven Coven is my former babysitter, Lena? Yeah. Don't say it. But no one can hear us out here, and you're not wearing your mask. It's the principle of the thing. Very well. Whoops. No, 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 no. Cameron's influence troubles me. More and more people attend his services, which means he'll persuade them to believe that there are malcontents out to do harm to the community. We need more information. Novice, Acolyte, the time has come for both of you to learn shapeshifting. How do you feel about a feline spy mission? Yo, I feel great about it. <laughs> yes! I see where you're going, and I like it. Feline spy mission? We'll learn how to turn into cats and then sneak into the consciousness center. How close is my guess? Telepathically close. Every witch learns from Ariel how to shapeshift themselves into animals, but they must wait until they're old enough not to misuse such power. I trust both of you to treat your animal hosts with kindness. Uh, what if I get stuck as a cat? <laughs> No, that would be funny. Ariel won't let you get stuck as a cat, I promise. Parker's mentioned more and more talk of rooting out the malcontents. And Cameron is often scribbling in this tiny little notebook of his. We need to know what it says. Visit Ravenwood Hollow for a transmogrification lesson. Then see if you can find an open door at the center to sneak through. This might be going too far. <laughs> Attend a seminar as humans, ask Parker, or attend this week's service. Um. Ask Parker? Why don't you ask Parker about Cameron's notebook? Uh, we don't really talk about Bruno. Talk about that sort of thing. Oh, Besides, wrong. We need that notebook. Hey. I'm not bothered by this. As long as we don't get caught. So speak to Ariel to learn how to shapeshift. Very cool. Very, very cool. Hey, James, thank you so much for the eight months of support. Thank you very much for the eight months. Appreciate that. Uh, peaches. We just had peaches like last week. So good. I love peaches. Peaches are great. Have I ever eaten dragon fruit? I have never eaten dragon fruit, but I would love to try dragon fruit one day, too. That's another one I would like to try. I now have 70 hours in this game and just started spring again. Whoa! Lord have mercy, Fane. 70 hours. That's insane. Now, if this was Dinkum, I could understand, but this, my lord. gonna use my little bit of energy that i have here we'll take it back home yeah peaches are good yeah the story's getting spicy indeed absolutely 100 percent. pretty nice though this is definitely like like i'm not uh, some stories can be drawn out and be like, get tired some. I haven't felt that from this game. I will say I've not felt tired uh, from the story. And like, I've never wanted to like rush through and be like, oh my God, get me to the next thing. Right? Like, let's, let's get it over with. Like, no, nah, I haven't really felt that. I felt pretty good throughout this experience so far. 
If anything, the story is leaving me where I'm just like, I want to know more. I want more, you know? It's definitely a kind of story that builds up, right? It's a build up story for sure. Okay, let's see if we can make the potion of crystal ball. What was that one again? That was the uh, crystal ball was red dye and essence of copper. I do have the copper. I do not have the red dye. It might be a little too late to do that. Oh, actually, no, it's all down there. My bad. All made down here. There we go. It's fine. Let's get that crystal ball going. There we go. Cool. Go to sleep. Yep. It's a lot of content for sure. So worth the money if anyone is wondering. Yeah, if it's past, you know... $25 past the 25 hour mark. I mean, it seems like it. I, I think I probably will get past the 25 hour mark in this game, too. I, maybe. I, you know. Thank you, Tori. Thank you, Tori. Have a good have a good day at work. Yeah. Uh oh, waiting until your peaches are two or three, three days over. Right. Then make my wife's favorite peach eclairs. Oh, my Lord. Peach eclairs. That's awesome. Good morning, Thomas. <laughs> Not such a good morning at my farm. My well water's coming up full of mud and silt. Oh, is it broken? No, that means it's about to go dry. The drought has gone on too long. Well, you're welcome to use my well if you need to. Appreciate it, but that's not going to solve the problem long term. Yours will go dry soon, too, I suspect. And while you're planning for this dry spell, might want to check in with everyone in town. This has been a scorcher of a summer. I will. Hey, thanks for giving me a heads up, Thomas. So Thomas says uh, a drought has hit Fairhaven. Ask around to see if everyone is okay. Okay. So... I hear you're raising livestock, too. Are you upset? Not as long as you treat your animals right and keep them away from my corn plants. Hmm. Uh, I do not have any seeds. I got to buy seeds, too, I think, today. More seeds, at least. I think I ran out of water. Son of a gun. If you eat dragon fruit, would you need you would need to prepare a wet wipe and you would look like a vampire after eating the dragon fruit because your mouth and teeth would uh, seem like you drank blood. <laughs> I've always been interested in it. What is my favorite fruit? Um, there's a couple of fruits I really enjoy. I do enjoy, obviously, strawberries. Strawberries are pretty good. Chocolate covered strawberries are a, are a girl's dream, I tell you what. All the girls I know love the chocolate strawberries. The chocolate strawberries are where it's at. But yeah, no, chocolate strawberries are good. Strawberries in general are good. I do like, I'm a big fan of cherries. I do like the cherries. I could eat like a whole bag of cherries, no problem. Um, peaches are good. Um, what else? I like plums. I'm a big plum guy. I like plums for sure. Big plum guy. I'm not, like, I like oranges. I just don't go out of my way and buy oranges. I like apples, but I don't go out of my way to buy apples. I love watermelon. Watermelon's good. Okay, we'll ask about that. Speak to Aro to learn the shapeshift. We'll go speak to him real quick. Like, you know, those cutie oranges? Those are cool. I like the cutie oranges. Uh, whoa, do you guys have hours here? Yeah. Monday, Tuesday, close. All right, perfect. Today's Monday. <laughs> I didn't know you guys worked on a, on a format as well here. Good God. Of course you guys do. Oh, pineapple. Yeah, pineapple's a good one, too. It's hard to, like, go back. Like, I like the pineapples, and then like um, I forgot. Oh god, we have it in the kitchen. The 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 word escapes my head. The uh the the chili powder, putting the chili powder on the um, on the pineapples. Oh, that's good. Good stuff. Hi, Natalia. Oh, there. Looks like it's gonna be another scorcher today, huh? And uh, that brings me to a bit of bad news. My water pressure's been too low to keep my slack tub cold enough to set my pieces when I'm done working them in my forge. I won't be able to upgrade any of your tools till the water's on full blast again. Of course, I can still melt your ore into ingots as you need. Okay, 
Thanks for letting me know. No worries. Hopefully this hot spell will pass soon. Ugh, are you kidding? Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I just didn't heat up this metal enough because it's so hot out. So when I hit it, the stupid thing snapped right in half. <laughs> Blackberries, blackberries are good. Blueberries, even. I'll eat, yeah, I'll basically eat any fruit. Uh, kiwi's good, too. Yeah, kiwi's good. Where do you get red dye? You craft the red dye. Honeydew, I like honeydew. Um, cantaloupe, I like cantaloupe. Hi, Lena. How are things going? Oh, busy, busy. We've ordered jugs of water for milk water. Everyone seems to need more than the town pipes can supply. So if you need some water, they should be coming off the ferry soon. Oh, okay. and if you have any eggs to sell, that would be great. Marty's hardly got any lately. <sighs> I can't wait until this dry spell is over. Have you ever seen a dry spell like this on the island before, Lena? A few years back we did, but that was the first time I can recall. Thomas even had to dig his well deeper. It's strange that it's happened again so soon. Yes, I would like to buy... Strawberries. Thank you. <clears throat> oh, yeah, meet Ario instead of this having a shop open. Uh, so do they just like walk around out there then? At the, um, on the, on the pier, I guess, whatever, whatever their pier is. Do they just walk around about, walk about? I could just, yeah, I could just, I guess just talk to them, right? Hey, not given. How you doing? Coconut. Coconut, I probably wouldn't like. I mean, I've had coconut. Like, I've gone to Hawaii. We've gone to one of those uh, guys on the side side of the roads. They've cracked open uh, coconut. Coconut meat is a very plain tasting thing. But I wouldn't say I'm a fan of coconuts, at least. Coconut meat. Not too much of a fan of coconut water, either. Mangoes are great. I love mangoes as well Let's see if he's out there with the cat mangoes are good Aww, who's a good kitty something i miss is upgrading the house i hate seeing grandma's uh bed empty all the time you got a good point there they hang out here they just chill out somewhere everybody's closed are they on holiday Wesley's here. But everybody seems to be closed. Nobody's out and about. Maybe they just go on holiday. <laughs> Maybe that's just what they do. I guess we can talk to Wesley at least. Do you ever catch up with your family back in Alaska? Well, my dad walked out on us when my brother and I were three. Went back to Russia. My mom and I talk, but she also thinks I run a bookstore in Milkwater. I haven't been able to tell her about, um, no, you know. <laughs> you think the drought is not happening naturally? Uh, what? Excuse me? <laughs> what? Ah, grapes. Can't forget about grapes. Red grapes or green grapes, right? Which ones? Which one do you, do you prefer? Red grapes or green grapes? I think I'm kind of a green grape guy. Six more people. Let's go find six other people. Is it the other side on the bottom? Damn it. Angus, are you affected here? I haven't talked to you in a while. Oh, frozen grapes. Well, I used to do that back in the day. My grandma used to do that quite often. I wish it weren't such a pain getting to Fairhaven. I'd have my brothers visit all the time. Yeah, maybe I could get Francis's brother to visit, too. They could patch things up. I still don't know why Francis and Fabio don't talk, to be honest. That's a good shout. Good shout, Sai. Gotta buy some chicken feed before I land on a day closed again. Uh oh Damon has drought problems? Yes. Hi, Damon. Gosh. You must be the one person whose business is doing well in the drought. 
Well, the problem with being the local watering hole is you have to have water to make beer. Facts. I've been bringing jugs of water over the ferry, but the prices keep going up. My taps may be running dry soon. <sighs> I'm not sure I have the heart to tell Bruno. I'm not complaining. The extra business I'm getting from this heat spell is great, but I'll run out of ice soon if it doesn't rain. Whoops. I like green better. My oldest uh, likes red. Yeah, coconut milk to make curry. Yeah, yeah, I agree on that. I mean, I don't make curry, but any like anytime I go to Thai, Thai restaurant, you got to get that, right? You got to hit it with the... Uh, I mean that 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 curry just that that co sorry that coconut milk just changes the density and just it's so good it's absolutely so good. Seeing if there's anybody else that's affected with this water. Worded badly, uh, like you think someone is controlling the drought. Maybe maybe it's Raven. Maybe it's the Raven or something. Brought on by magic. Yeah, maybe like Queen Zelda said. Magic? Maybe thinking of Raven? Let's see if I can go find these these people real quick. Or at least Aura. Aura? 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 Gosh darn it, dude. Such a hard name for me. To the left? Bottom to the left? Everything you own in the box to the left? Yeah, there you go. Good shout. Good shout there. Hey, Alley Cat. How you doing? So, you are to learn how to walk a mile in a cat's paws, are you? Yes! <laughs> Finally! I've been waiting for years! This is incredible. <laughs> Look at the cats. I don't usually say this, but... Patience. Don't forget respect for the creatures allowing you to use their corporeal forms. What? I, I thought we were going to learn how to transform into cat form. Don't be ridiculous. No one can do that. But we can politely ask animals if we can ride along in their bodies for a while. Exactly. Gray Malkin and Cleocatra here are experienced with ride-alongs. <coughs> oh, of course, of course. Tara, Violet, it's time for you to ask permission. Gray Malkin, you are the noblest of felines. I would be grateful to walk with you. Is this some sort of joke? A, a, a hazing ritual or something? Friends, please excuse the manners of our newest member. Her speciesism is brought on by ignorance rather than malice. Now, I can sense the thoughts of our fine friends with gills and feathers and fur. But what makes you unique, dear witches, is that you can share their consciousness. Dara? Cleocatra must know she can trust you. Oh, okay. Uh, Cleocatra, can I, um, walk with you? <laughs> she said, of course. Now, take these shape-shifting incantations. You'll need to cast them on your chosen cat. So while the cat's away, cast animal shape-shifting incantation on your familiar. That's your cat. It worked. I'm a cat. Not just any cat, but you're familiar. And she sees so much more than humans. Now off with you. Do your skulking. Oh my god. To head to the consciousness center. We've got to find out what's been happening there. Wait, you sound normal. That's wild. <laughs> it raises so many questions, but we got a scamper. There's no time to waste. Follow the cat collite to the conscious Don't center. Cat is bonkers, but come on, no dawdling. Oh, we're a cat. It's like stray all over again. We got to go to the conscious. I will beat you to the conscious center. Yeah, I'm not drinking my normal uh, Red Bull today. I, I ran out, unfortunately. I ran out of Red Bull, and uh, I'm drinking some kind of weird concoction of what Danielle drink is. It doesn't taste that good, I'll be honest with you. But it's like some kind of like Hawaiian shaved ice thing here. I think it's called a Lani or something. It's supposed to be some kind of energy, but not the best tasting drink, I will say. It's supposed to be like 
Caffeine in it? Yeah, a lot of caffeine in it. We need to be totally silent. If they catch us in here, they might think we're just mousers keeping the center clean. Ew! But they're not gonna turn a blind eye if we start spouting the queen's frickin' English. Cat's got my tongue. Got it. Cat's got my tongue. Notebook, notebook. I'm surprised they let pe let cats in like this. Where it is. Look around the conscious center for Cameron's notebook. I would assume in the office. Ah, here it is. Right. <laughs> the presence of malcontents seems to be on the rise in our fair town. It's they who spread the pagan beliefs we saw at the summer festival. Whatever they may call themselves, their purpose is clear. To sow chaos and keep you from your true potential. That's a lie. <gasps> Who's that? Find them. Huh? A disembodied voice. It has to be witches. Oh, I mean, a uh, uh, malcontent. Oh my God. Thomas Graham. Whoo! Cleo Gatra is fast. That run barely took any effort. Glad you enjoyed it, cause I think the incantation is about to wear off. Whoop. Yeah, Angus and uh, or sorry, not Angus. Cameron and Natalia would be a great couple. Human senses are nothing compared to cat senses. Whew, I know, right? Thank you, Gray Malkin. You're the best, Cleocatra. Now, let's take a look at this journal. <sighs> we have a heck of a report to make to the coven at the next meeting. That's for sure. Speak to the High Priestess and tell her what you uncovered at the Conscience Center. How about the drought? Hi there, Violet. How's your garden doing? <sighs> Sunflowers like sun, but not feeling like they're on the surface of the sun, you know? I've been recycling water as much as I can just to have enough water for my flower beds and timing Sebastian in the shower. I swear, his hair routine is even more complicated than mine, but I think I might be done for this season after I harvest my last batch. The bees need water more than the flowers do. Hmm. Vanessa seems kind of distant, but I know what's up with her now. She acts that way because she feels like she has to to keep going. There are times when I've felt that. So we'll wait here, I guess, for the High Priestess, right? Absolutely. Still trying to decide if I get this, want to get this game or just watch you play. Hey, Masumi. Hey, Matthew, how you doing? Can't gather or interact as a cat, only used to fish or travel. Can you, wait, you can fish as a cat? Is that what you're saying? Why am I getting vibes of Scientology here? Like I now thinking about it, like Cameron's preaching, and every the people that are there is Angus, Parker, and Natalia. Oh my God, they just and they're not this. That was the first time I ever seen them come on, uh, come on brooms with no, uh, with no, with no robes on. That was kind of special. Hello, Tara, Violet. Was your mission successful? <laughs> Was it ever? Once Ariel taught us how to choreography, we practically waltzed into the center. Dragging that journal away in cat form wasn't easy, but we managed it. He started a heading for a list here. Possible malcontents. No names on it yet, though. That confirms my suspicions. This isn't just idle talk. Thank you, you two. You were excellent. What can I say? We make formidable spy jesus <laughs> and you performed admirably in your shape-shifting abilities you may now shape-shift responsibly into a cat familiar after creating shape-shifting incantations of your own in cat form you'll be able to utilize their swift reflexes to catch fish and other useful items i also, see while the cat is in control your body can be resting so it allows for more hours in the day well done both of you cool awesome meow you've done it so now we have the animal shape shifting recipe nice so i guess fishing can definitely go even better here with cat and now i'm interested in in, in catching fish as a cat i will say uh now i want to see how better it is i guess as a cat you don't need bait right i'm assuming you just put your little paw in there and bam we get it we get a fish maybe <clears throat> <laughs> yeah pam pam isn't that awesome when you're a cat the hour to pass out is 4 a.m instead of 2 a.m really oh huh. interesting dad joke incoming uh what do you call a fish without its 
eyes. Here we go. I'm 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 waiting for it. Send it. Hmm. Oh, I think I see something. Chicken tikka masala. One more. It's empty. Ah. One potion. That gave me one. Arr. A fish without eyes? A f ah. <laughs> A fish. <laughs> oh, very good. Am I ready for bed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. Don't worry, guys. We, we, we're we getting Hoko life. Don't worry. We just are ending today's stream. Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it in today's stream. Hope you guys enjoyed today's Wildflowers. We will be picking this up and continuing the story in the future this later this week. Absolutely for sure. But after today, we're going to be moving on to Hoko life and seeing what that game's all about and see what we have in store for us on full release. If you guys enjoyed today's stream, make sure to hit the like button. I would really appreciate that. It uh, tells me that you want to see more of Wildflowers and uh, it tells me that you are enjoying the series and it gives me the encouragement to continue going forward. With that being said, thank you all for hanging out with me today and, and enjoying the time that we had. If I don't see you in the next stream, then I hope to see you in another Wildflowers stream indeed. With that being said, <clears throat> I want to say a special thank you to uh, for, for Leslie. Thank you, Leslie, and thank you, Rescue uh, Greyhound, and thank you, James. Uh, for the support today. Leslie with the Super Chat, Rescue Great House with the re-up on the membership, and James as well with the re-up on the membership. Anyways, if this is the last time I speak to you until the next Wildflowers, you can go ahead and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, uh, TikTok, and support me on Patreon as well, or join as a member of this channel, and you can do it that way as well. Other than that, it's been a pleasure and honor being with you here today. It's been a pleasure and an honor taking your time away from you and spending it on here, which is kind of weird for me to say, but I will see you all in about less than 25 minutes and uh, i'm just gonna go take a break and get a little bit of snack get a little bit of a refill on a drink and um we'll see what the heck hoko life's all about other than that thank you all and we will we will chat very very soon do take care <laughs>